From the burning embers of hell, four biblical figures of the apocalypse rose from the smoldering depths of eternal fire. Mystical entities each revealed themselves through their YouTube channels, spreading joy, laughter, entertainment, and most of all, their love for movies. Their goal was to enrich their viewers with knowledge that could only be taught from the masters themselves. First to enter the Earth's atmosphere was Keith from Euphoria Pictures, a man who had traveled through time and space but still struggled to find room in his pod for all his busts and physical media. Andy, forgotten world of movies, with just as many films to his incredible collection. His humor was so dry, it made the Sahara Desert look like the Niagara Falls. Then there was Scott, the movie critic, king of the live streams. This young man's voice was so high, he never had the need for drugs. Finally, there was Nige, the rock god himself. Legend has it, this man's wit and humor was so fast, Usain Bolt had trouble keeping up. He too had an impressive physical media collection. Together, these four legends graced our screens to entertain and bring joy to the world. Uh, no, Love that. <laughs> Then there was Andy, forgotten world to attend the stream. <laughs> he's been pulled back, by the way. He's been pulled back. What did yeah. he say? Whoopsie, I've just finished this bus stuff. <laughs> no, he said, shit. Well, past his bedroom, Leah. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's, got, he's got snot in his hand, has he? <laughs> He's got fucking summit in his hand. <laughs> his hair is his hair is sticking up like this. He's trying to get it down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there's something actress. about Andy. <laughs> there's something about him, yeah. Oh, welcome to the first of two epic live streams over this Easter weekend for Easter double header. And first up we have Jeff for 101 Bonson joining. Oh, <laughs> Next up, we have Dan from Dance Movie Cave. Hi, everyone. Next up, we have Nigel Rock God 2004. Boo, stop, stop it, I can't boo, catch all those panties thrown at once. Boo, boo, Hello, Andy. Frick. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> there he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> just in time for the fucking good night. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to time your wanks better than this. <laughs> I forgot we were on a half seven. Thought we were on an eight. Oh, it's a, no, so thanks to Wood, he's had to rush. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, there's something on your air. There's something about Andy there. No, there's, there's nothing better than a challenging wank. <laughs> <laughs> I do have some. You want a challenging one? Just put a four to me in front of you now. That's a fucking challenge. I mean, this gets me off in the middle. They've all got to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> and next time Sorry. Now, it's, now this called, uh, now it's this chap. <laughs> Indeed. And next up we have Carlos he's for life fan. That's not Carlos. Like on again. It yeah. is. I've already said Keith. We never fucking heard it. <laughs> well, <I'm all> dead. <laughs> and lastly we have Andy. It'll do, it's only Keith. <laughs> yeah. Andy from Forgotten World of Movies joining tonight as well. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. Really do appreciate it as always. Cheers, Thank Scott. you very much, Claire. Cheers, Scotty. Look Thanks forward to us. No worries, guys. And because it, as there is seven of us, we won't be going through what we watch this week as it would just take way, way too long. So we're going to skip that one for tonight. Absolutely. And uh, also, everyone's links in the description box down below. Give all these guys a sub because they all have amazing channels. Cheers, mate. Peace, Scott. Thank you very much. Cheers, also, um, hope you're watching this one day. For all thinking of you, mate, get well soon, my friend. Absolutely. Absolutely. Get well Absolutely. soon, bud. Yeah. Definitely, well. 100%. And let's get into the comments. We've got Gary Singh here. Hello, mate. Great to see you here. Hey, hey Gary. And he says, hey, oh. good evening, you beautiful people. I'm loving oh, the thank fun you. now. An absolute classic western with a great cast. Oh, uh, Gary, but it does, uh, Gary's watching. Gary, 
the the new uh, intro that you made for us, we're going to be using it next week. We promise. Yes, definitely. I can't wait to show you. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got G Gary saying, or should I say, magnificent cast? Hey, <laughs> there we go. Absolutely. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> he also says, fun We're fact, all cowboys you know tonight. Him? Absolutely. Carlos, 100%. Says, so, did you know Kira Kurosawa, director of Seven Samurai, was so impressed with Magnificent Seven, he sent the American director a ceremonial sword as a gift? Wow. I, I had no idea. No. I, I, didn't yeah. I didn't know what Kira Kurosawa was either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I don't know about any of you, but I was impressed that Scott got that out. Yeah, I would have been doing. I would have been doing. Did you know <laughs> the director of Seven Summer? <laughs> oh wow! But I, I still need to see that film actually. But I wouldn't mind. No, I wouldn't see it either. No, yeah, definitely. And we've got Keith here as well. Hello, mate. Great to see you here. Hello, mate. Yeah. Happy early oh, Easter, you magnificent bunch. My first question of the evening is what specific films you always come back to every Easter? Oh, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. um, oh. There isn't many, actually, but if there was one that I could think of off the top of my head, it'd probably be really one kind of chocolate factory. A great film, and yeah, definitely one to watch at Easter for sure. What about yourself, Jeff? I don't really have any, to be honest. Um... I mean, there are specific side of movies I watch when it's Halloween time, or specific side of movies I watch when it's Christmas time, but not really for Easter. I don't really have mm -hmm. any uh, specific films, so none really no spring to mind for me. No worries, Jeff. All good, my friend. What about yourself, Dan? I'm the same. I've never associated Easter with a regular movie watch, so no, not for me. Oh, fuck. One of my posters is just falling down. Can't. <laughs> 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 but you see, see, no, even your fucking farts travel to Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Morse code. I've <I've> only <laughs> got some lined up for play later on. <laughs> I do. I do. Uh, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make you all these stuff up. Now I just sent me the double album. <laughs> it's released on Ktel Records. <laughs> the Forty greatest. <laughs> Name's the Rock God. Simple fart. <laughs> <laughs> Farting my way back to you is on track two, side three. I think you'll enjoy that one. What <laughs> <laughs> about yourself, Nigel? Uh, not so much now, but when I was a kid, it was always, well, the, both of these I used to associate with Christmas, um, and then they moved both of them to Easter, and I fucking hated it, because I don't like Easter, it's dull, but it was Willy Wanker, the original, and um, Pretty Chitty Gang Bang, uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, <laughs> but I really like Willy Wanker, so I'm trying to get that back to a Christmas film. Um, and I would actually like to give yeah. Pretty Good Gang Bang another go because that fucking child catcher is terrifying. Mm. <laughs> I did watch a film today, though, and I thought, do you know what? This actually does feel like Easter viewing. Mm. Um, and it was that, yeah. Nice. <laughs> and it's the first time I've seen it since uh, the 90s when it was out in the cinema, 94. I had a fucking blast with it. It it's not going to remind me of this, so I will watch it again. <laughs> eh? In what fucking world does True Lies feel like fucking Easter? <laughs> I don't know, it's because of the old action thing, and I watch it on the afternoon, which was a bit surreal, because normally you watch them on a night, and I just He's thought, oh, this feels like... You know that fucking cunt, James Bond? It felt a bit like him. <laughs> 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 I don't know why, you just did, but I'll make sure that I watch it again. That was delayed. <laughs> Very delayed from Keith. <laughs> so that, that was it. Yeah, nothing now, though, really. No, 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 he's awesome. We'll so be nice. Great choices there, my friend. All Thank you, sir. No uh, um, yeah, Halloween. Seeming he picked fucking true lies. Really? <laughs> 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 And then I fucking topped the night off at fucking Friday the 13th. <laughs> 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 no, 
No, um, and, and oh, my new film which has come out is about Keith's life story called The Cunt. <laughs> 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 um, no, I don't. I don't. I don't associate Halloween with movies. But I suppose you can do a big share for Child's Play too. You could. Do you mean you don't? Not do, 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 not do you not uh, associate Easter either? Sorry, not you just yeah, associate sorry. Halloween with it. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Child's Play two. Sorry, Critters two. <laughs> Ten minutes in, and he's fucking drunk already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not drunk, I'm just high on that. Online fucking bullying. Right here now, fucking happen live. <laughs> darn fucking tootin'. <laughs> oh, that Where is fucking here, you dead cunt? <laughs> <laughs> that was a wet willy without the willy. And no, I don't want that. <laughs> I'll, tell I'll tell you one thing, it's fucking long enough to fucking poke you. It's long enough to maybe reach the wax if you're fucking lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Team bigger cotton buds. <laughs> awesome stuff, Keith. Great choice, my friend. Yeah, what about yourself, Carlos? No worries. Uh, not so much nowadays. I always remember back in when I was a teen, Easter always used to be a Bond movie or Pink Panther movies or, or even a war movie. I used to enjoy ah. watching, you know. I think every seasonal sort of time of. Uh, yeah, there was always a Bond movie, but not nowadays. I, I sort of set out to watch a, a certain movie uh, every Easter nowadays. Mm. Yeah, that's fair enough. Could definitely understand that. Awesome stuff, Carlos. What about yourself, Andy? Well, I don't watch them every Easter, but Keith mentioned Critters too. Mm. I was thinking of that, and maybe maybe the other one's probably um, the greatest story ever told. Oh, yeah. Okay. Awesome stuff. Kind of a lot of across the good Easter film. <laughs> <laughs> that film is rough. <laughs> or the Ebola syndrome and what's it down there? Another two good ones. <laughs> keeps hold, keeps holding it in. Or is it what ship Ebola? No, I got it right the first time. It is what ship. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, are you okay? No. No. <laughs> what a silly question. Have you fucking ever? <laughs> go, go oh, no way. Yeah. I didn't Very know about that. Yeah. Very sad news. Great actor. And we've also got Keith saying RP, oh, the, the risk of, so yeah. Very, very sad, sad, sad news. Keith's fucking crying. It's yeah, has He's his yeah, favourite actor and everything. I checked, I checked the questions. He loves him in Halloween. I, I checked the questions before he came on. That's exactly why I'm crying. Got um, Ellen Smith here. Hello, Ellen. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah. Great Hello, you dear. Says, hey all, name a movie that everyone loves but you can't stand all. Oh, oh you've got to spend Ooh. a couple of days. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Well, I don't want to say that I hate this film because I don't, but this I is... Do. I do. I can't is, fucking yeah. wait to tell you where I hit. But this is, we're most still, to this day, the most disappointing film that I've ever seen because I thought it was going to be fantastic and it was so disappointing and boring. In, well, it was very boring, but it is the original Blade Runner. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Couldn't get into it. It was very, very bang average at best, but yeah, I wanted a lot more from it, definitely. What about yourself, Jeff? Um, yeah, so I have a controversial opinion. <laughs> uh, I feel like every time I mention it, I might lose subscribers, but I never really was a Star Wars fan. I feel that's really overhyped. So, uh, <laughs> and, and anything Star Wars related is not for me, sadly. That's fair enough, could definitely understand that. Awesome stuff, Jeff. Great answer, my friend. What about yourself, Dan? I was going to say Star Wars, so I'll go for my second. Anything Star Trek. Uh, mm. Just think they're, they're weird. All the kids <laughs> at school watched all that was strange. Um, well, I might lose subscribers as well, but of course, you can get less. But nah. yeah, it's just Star, Star Trek, Star Wars will send me to sleep. Awesome stuff, Dan. Great choices there, my friend. 
What about yourself, Nigel? Oh, no doubt I will lose subscribers. Every fucking film has been mentioned so far with a dirty great big fucking alien on top of that lot. <laughs> awesome stuff, Nigel. Great answer, my friend. I do actually think Blade Runner's worse. I fucking hate, despise that pile of boring fucking shit. It's better than a fucking sleeping tablet. <laughs> Unsubscribe, unsubscribe, crackle. <laughs> I don't care. Feel better for saying what I've just said. Great answer, Nigel, my friend. What about yourself, Keith? I think my our three guests are going to hate me for this one. Uh, the Godfather. Ooh, fucking <laughs> can't stand the fucking movie. There's and I actually like the and, and, and what's that? What makes it that little bit weirder? I actually really enjoy part two. <laughs> Oh, my. <laughs> I can't stand Yeah, no, no. It's east to the road, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, that's fine. Damn Sorry, it. lads. Be a boring place if we all liked exactly the fucking same thing. We'd all be going oh, yeah, for the same thing. Yeah. Oh, but James, look at that. I'm fucking three subscribers lost. That was quick, lads. <laughs> <laughs> I'll beat you. I've lost 20. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome Keith, those ones that... <laughs> well, I'm not going to unsubscribe from that fat cunt. <laughs> subs, subs that Keith's gained over the uh, Cameron movies, they've just gone. <laughs> 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 Indeed. Awesome stuff, Keith. Great choice there, my friend. Yeah, what about yourself, Carlos? No ways. Um... To be honest, we're talking about Star Wars movies. I actually didn't mind the very first three, even though I don't own them. But the ones that followed were absolutely shit. <laughs> I don't know why people say they're they're they're, they're great movies. I mean, the, the Force Awakens is is more or less a rehash of Star Wars: The New Hope, really. And you know, when people say to me, "Was you shocked that Harrison Ford died?" Han Solo. I said, "Well." No, because it's as I was watching the movie, it's just like watching the first Star Wars movie. I said, I don't get the hype. So, yeah, the last six Star Wars movies and Rogue One. Horrible movies. Wow. Mm. Awesome stuff, Carlos. Great answer there, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? There's one film everyone seems to love, but it just annoys the shit out of me, Shrek. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Shrek's quite funny, actually. But I, the thing is, I absolutely love Shrek too, but I can't mm. stand the first one. That's fair. It's just, oh, it's it's just <laughs> fucking oh, donkey is is one of the most insufferable little annoying shits ever. I just I can't abide him. I can't abide all the fucking singing and, as well in that film. I just can't. Just, oh. Fucking hell, the living shit out of me. <laughs> How many's watching, Scott? Minus 10. Um, no, you've still got 32. No, it's not. Well, it's just a bit of me, my friend. Also, stuff, Andy, great answer there, my friend. Have we got Gary say, what's one of the best trailers for a movie you have ever seen? For me, even though I wasn't a Ooh. fan of the film, I thought Rise of a Skywalker was my favourite. Another good question there, Gary. Um, good question, yeah. I'm not too sure, actually. I I'll definitely come back to that one, no, definitely, but not sure at the moment. What about yourself, Jeff? I have no idea here. <laughs> Uh, try and go back to me at the end. I, I'm trying to think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no worries, Jeff. All good. What about yourself, Dan? I've got two. What stand out? Mine as a kid was Double Impact. I mean, I'm a massive Van Damme fan. So when I see two wow. Van Dams on screen, oh, I couldn't couldn't wait. Nice. And probably Dunkirk, the Christopher Nolan one. I actually went to IMAX. So I love war movies, and uh, yeah, I thought that was the, the trailer and the film. Equally as good. Normally the trailers are better than films nowadays. But they might too. Awesome stuff, Dan. Great choices there, my friend. What about yourself, Nigel? I read that a bit wrong, but I'm going to answer it how I read it originally. I thought it was like one of the best trailers you've seen, but you weren't keen on the film. 
And it is one of the best trailers I've seen, and the film is fucking shocking. Video nasty called Snuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. False yeah. advertising at its very best, but the, the trailer, but you think, fuck me, this is going to be horrific. And then you watch it. Mm. Yeah, awesome <laughs> stuff, Nigel. Great choice there, my friend. Thank you, Squire. No worries. What about yourself, Keith? I'll tell you, the minute I read that, four, four movies popped into my head. Uh, when I originally wow. seen Aliens, the first read of Aliens, I was like, wow, this is just, it couldn't be so far off from Alien. I just thought it was brilliant. Prometheus had an incredible trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, Ready Player One, uh, oh, when yeah. when the, the bit in the trailer when Van Halen jump, players, fucking incredible. You knew you were going to be watching something very retro. And the fourth one, uh, believe it or not, The Haunting, the movie with Liam Neeson. Had a, there was a little tiny teaser trailer that came out for around 50 seconds long. Uh, it shows nothing from the movie itself. It just shows the house. And I think at the end of the trailer, the house turns into an evil face. Uh, it's just kind of creepy. Um, so, yeah, there were the four that kind of just jumped at me. Awesome hmm. stuff, Keith. Great choices there, my friend. Cheers, mate. No worries. What about yourself, Carlos? Terminator 2. Um... I remember when that when I did get to watch that in the summer. I remember three or four months previously. I don't know what movie I was watching, but when that teaser trailer came up of, of T T two, it, it must have been a thirty seconds to a minute trailer. Uh, and the, just watching that trailer was better than the whole movie. Everybody just cheered. Uh, I think yeah. it, it, it was a brief trailer. Of, of, of actually the, the T2 cyborg getting built. I uh, didn't show any clips oh, yeah. of the movie. Yeah, I remember. It was brief. It was brief. Um, I always have a problem with movie trailers that I think they should be kept to a minimum and not show anything. I think these days I agree. They, I agree. they show like a, sometimes they show like a three minute, two and a half minute, three minute trailer. And you more or less know, reading anything, what that movie is going to be about before we before you've actually even seen it so yeah, yeah i think the, the terminator 2 teaser trailer was the one one of those trailers that really stood out for me uh, yeah do you, you remember that one do you remember, do you remember the one they done for uh spielberg's war of the worlds as well do you remember that one the first pre-lighted trailer that came out for that again no. it was one of those one of them trailers it's not in the movie it just shows yeah. these this family coming out of houses and they're looking over the hills and you can just see yeah. You can like see like there's a battle going on, and yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. all they show. They show nothing mm. else. Yeah. I think awesome they should do stuff, that more. Carlos. Yeah, they so do I. That more. I agree. I agree. I agree. I think the worst trailers are in the seventies and show you half the film, including the fucking ending. <laughs> Lord, yeah. I know, after three or four minutes, <laughs> you'd see something. Yeah. When you see the film, you go, "Why don't you just fucking tell me the plot?" Show <laughs> far too much. <laughs> I'm glad they've shot mm. them from the 70s because they were ridiculous. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The like short films. Yeah, definitely, 100%. There's been some shit trailers out there, that's for sure. Mm. Oh, you know, I have to do an honourable mention, by the way, night because I said it before, visiting errors. Yes. Oh. <laughs> that intrigues the fuck out of you, that one. <laughs> I was so angry. <laughs> <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 where he's the, he gets the fucking saw out the water like Excalibur have you seen that one? No it's got it's not in the yeah this fucking thing comes out the water this woman's hand with all the bracelets and all that shit but instead of holding the saw she's holding the fucking chainsaw oh, wow. throw the chainsaw up and Leatherface catches it turns around the camera starts it up and then wow. the title <laughs> comes up and that's it mm. well, that's good yeah, that's different. That's really cool to be fair. It was, it's quite funny, actually, the way they've done it. was really, really clever. I liked it. Awesome stuff, Nigel. Great choice as well, Carlos. By, by the way, awesome stuff, mate. What about yourself, Andy? The one the one I remember seeing when I was a kid was uh, the, the very first teaser trailer for Scooby-Doo. <laughs> the live-action one? Yeah. I don't know if anyone <laughs> remembers it. I don't actually. It was, it was kind of like this. It was like this big mansion, 
and it starts off with the camera like going through the halls of the mansion and then it, it comes up and I actually thought it was a trailer for a new Batman film because the way Scooby Doo standing in the window, he looks like Batman. Oh, right. <laughs> and then he turns around Scooby Doo. And I just thought, what a fucking amazing trailer. But I was so disappointed as well because I was pumped for a new Batman film. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. So little Andy sat there going, Scooby fucking do. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, this looks like it's going to be awesome, Batman film. Oh, it's Scooby Doo. Oh, it's a fucking dog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the, the way the way they played it out, it was like, oh fucking hell, it looks gonna, looks like a going to be a really good solid Batman film, and it's like, no, it's Scooby Doo. The <laughs> novel is Ruby Ruby the Gotham yeah. books. Eh? I have to give it another shout out as well. Uh, and, and again, it's not necessarily a trailer, but but the uh, Maxine when they put that at the end of um, yeah. um no. No, not at the end. No, sorry. It's the end. at the end of Pearl. Is it? At the end of Pearl. Sorry, sorry. Does it say Pearl no. will return or, or Summit will return? Oh, am I getting my fucking movie, movies right? Am I, which one am I getting? It it's does the one say something that. about Maxine at the end. I'm sure. Yeah, it's, it I shows. It's, instead of the Hollywood sign, it shows. It says Maxine. I, I think it's yes. something like that. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. Maxine's wrote in the like on the Hollywood Hills. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And that's all you do, see, because you're thinking, what the fuck? What's yeah. this about? I'm looking forward to that film, to be fair. It's going to be awesome. I wish they'd hurry up and get the fucker released. Oh, I agree, right. definitely. Great choice, Andy, by the way. Awesome stuff, mate. And, um, Jeff, have you thought of one? Um, yeah, so, yeah, obviously, as I'm, uh, I think, the youngest one here on, on the panel, I haven't seen all the retro trailers no, before the movies came out of, of that era. Uh, so I'm just so, to try and remember some modern trails that I saw, you know, that got me hyped uh, as a kid uh, or, you know, as a teenager or whatever. Um, I remember around the time Rocky Balboa came out, the six uh, Rocky film, mm. the trails for those uh, those two trails, the teaser and the, tra the full-length trail, they, they got me very hyped for the film because at that point yeah. I was already a massive, massive Rocky fan. Um, yeah, the Bond trailers for Daniel Craig, the early ones, uh, Casino Royale, mm -hmm. even the Quantum of Solace was a terrible film. Uh, the trails still got me hyped, uh, especially Skyfall. The trail for Skyfall really hyped me for that film. Um, and the most recent one that I can think of, and I would probably say that that's my answer, uh, is every, every trailer that came out for The Irishman because I was so hyped for that film. You know, Pacino, De Niro, Pesci, uh, and the Scorsese film. Um, every trailer I consumed so many times before watching the film, I was so hyped for that. So. Uh, it's not necessarily the best trailer I've seen, but I'm going to go with uh, The Irishman. Uh, nice. As, as a memorable one. Well, yeah. Awesome stuff, Jeff. Great choices there, my friend. Have we got Mike from Mike's DVD Blu-ray collection? Hello, Mike. Hey, Mike. Great to see you. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike. <laughs> good guy saying, has anyone seen the new Monster Mask trailer? It looks pretty good. I didn't even know that Monster Mask? No. Uh, no. I, I know the song. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't know there was a trailer of Monster Mash, to be honest. I had no idea. Got uh, Mike Hello. from T Shiz, you're here. Hello, mate. Great to see you here. Hey, up, mate. Hey, thank you, everyone. Hi there. Cheers for tuning in. Hope you're all doing well. Just want to wish you a happy Easter and have a great weekend. Plus, I'll give you a shout out on Instagram later. Well, thank you so uh, much. Well, thank you. Cheers, Cheers. 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 He's a good laugh. Yes, he's great, definitely. Got Absolutely. Keith saying, question, if you had to eliminate one film genre, which would you banish and why? Oh, oh no, don't <laughs> ask me that fucking question when these fucking lot are here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, going to yes. go with possibly musicals, I think. I do like some re like some musicals quite a lot. Obviously, Grease being one of them. Yeah. I do like the remake of West Side Story a lot, a lot as well. But they're just the genre that I go at least man. I don't watch many musicals and I just prefer other film genres more. What about yourself, Jeff? Yeah, exactly the same for me. Um, not a big musical fan. I like Grease. Um... Obviously, the original with Travolta. Um, actually, don't mind Greece too as well here. To be fair, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably Ooh, that's music a pleasure right there. <laughs> definitely, yeah. Very brave yeah, man. No, I would definitely <laughs> say, yeah, uh, definitely say musicals for me as well. Yeah. See, I think this fellow liked it well, if I remember rightly. 
<laughs> Not that I want oh. to let everybody know. I stir in the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Me? Night. No, no. <laughs> Reese to the word. Doesn't quite fit in the same, does it? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> awesome stuff, Jeff. Great answer, my friend. Thank you, sir. No worries. What about yourself, Dan? Superhero movies. Anything more? Oh. Yeah. Uh, after after the Nolan Batman films, nothing compares. And I've said loads of times, it irritates me where I work with a lot of young people. They think Marvel are the best thing ever, but they haven't watched Predator. They say it's old and not watching it. So. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, definitely agree there, one hundred percent. Awesome stuff, Dan. Great answer there, my friend. What about yourself, Nigel? I want to give you two because I can't call this it's fucking marvel or science from fucking fiction. Why? Because they're shit and I fucking hate them. <laughs> Simple as that. Straight to the point. Indeed. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Nigel, great answer, my friend. What about yourself, Keith? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. There's two that come to mind. But again, I I, I, mean, I mean absolutely no disrespect. It's it's something I'm I am trying hard to get into, but it's not happening at the moment for me. He's gonna fucking uh, say westerns, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And 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 martial arts movies. I I watched the Bruce Lee movies. I thought they were great, but I'm in no rush to watch them again. I'm not. I really enjoyed them. I thought they were great, but uh, I. I'm I'm afraid that if I watch them again, I'm not going to think much of them. You know, I, as weird as that sounds, I don't know. Um, it's it's. I th I think if I had to pick between the two, yeah, probably martial arts. I'd get rid of westerns. Wow. There's, a lot, there's a lot of great. There is a lot of great westerns I have seen that yeah. I do love. Do you actually regret getting that box then, Keith? Are you glad you still got it? No, because uh, I think the special features are better than the movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I absolutely <laughs> fucking loved the features on it. I had a blast mm -hmm. watching them. And I watched, and I'm not kidding, every single feature on that box set I watched. Wow. Wow. And I would That's watch them annoying. again. Wow. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Brilliant stuff. Awesome mm -hmm. stuff, Keith. Great answer there, yeah, my friend. No worries. What about yourself, Carlos? Um, I'm going to have to say musicals. Um, funny enough, I've just picked up the latest uh, West Side Story with Steven Spielberg um, the other week, only for the fact because it's a Spielberg movie. Uh, so I'm going to give that one an attempt. Um, but, but when I say musicals, it's kind of more the ones in the 50s and 60s where, mm. you know, mm. There was a song literally every 10 minutes. Uh, yeah. I mean, if, if you look at the Elvis Presley movies, I think his whole dialogue he sang. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that's why I've got to say the musicals in that sort of 50s, sort of 40s, 50s and 60s era. Um, but I, I don't mind some of them, like Grease and, and movies like that. But yeah, I'd have to say musicals, I'm afraid. No worries, Carlos. Great answer there, my friend. Awesome stuff, buddy. What about yourself, Andy? Probably have to say musicals as well. But even though there are a few I do really like, if you don't like the music in them, you're up shit creek without a paddle when you're watching yeah, them. And nowadays they seem to have let any fucker sing in them, <laughs> even if they can't yeah. sing. Oh. It's, it like, yeah, let's never get fucking Scott a partner musical there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, not fair if, if Scott starred in fucking Mamma Mia he'd be well at home in that movie because none of the lads could sing in it <laughs> it's like, it's like Pierce Pier, Pier, Brosnan and Mamma Mia I've got something for you Pierce a fucking key to singing <laughs> oh I'll tell you what I like the visuals there yeah, yeah I know yeah. I, 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 I might, I might not, am I the only one that got a kind of psycho vibes from Andy when he done that? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> and even, even, even fucking Russell Crowe in Lame is. Jesus. Oh. It's rough. It is. 
Russell, oh God. And that film is shit. I hate it. I hear it when he fucking talks, let alone sing. I can't. He did. I'm sure he had oh, that. Oh, it when he despises it when he fucking breeds. Jesus. Great answer there, Randy. Also, I don't mind when he breeds. Yeah. Got um, that chat saying, well, well, chaps, happy long, good, good thank crunchy, it's Friday. Thank you, Matt Chats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sir. happy long good thank crunchy it's Friday to you, sir. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> and he also says I rewatched all the reanimators this week, had a great time. Also watched from beyond, I have to say I love that film. One of the best love craft adaptations is brilliantly bonkers. Really? Oh, I really like your beyond to be fair. I think it oh from beyond fucking no. donut. <laughs> From Beyond is the film that put me off watching Reanimator for 40 fucking year because I thought it was similar. From yeah. Beyond, from Beyond, from me, we actually watched it not so long ago, and I, 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 me personally, I think it was one of the movies that should have stayed in the past. I should have left it there. Uh, yeah, the fucking I, I, I used to enjoy it when I when when growing up, but what it has not aged well for me. That's fair enough. I can understand that. I used to like it when I first watched it, but I haven't seen it in many years, so I can't get really give a proper opinion on it now. But when I first watched it, I thought it was great. Um, first, we had <coughs> made a brilliant film. Absolutely loved it. Mm, You've seen any of those before, Jeff? I've seen the Reanimator, so I haven't seen From Beyond, but uh doesn't sound like I'm missing much. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, like, you, might, you might get something from it, Jeff. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's just, just me. It just didn't sit well with me. Sure awesome yeah. stuff, Jeff. Great answer, my friend. What about yourself, Dan? Yeah, I've seen the first one and Bride of the Reanimator. Um, yeah, I like the first one more than the second. Mm. Awesome stuff, Dan. Great answer, my friend. And Nigel, you watched Reanimator recently, didn't you? For the first time, I watched it, yeah, and I thought it was absolutely fucking great. I loved it. Mm. No, I knew you would. Me and Andy were saying it was and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> so now I do want to see the other two. Yeah. Oh, awesome stuff, Nigel. I'm really glad you enjoyed it, my friend. Thank you very much. No worries. Um, what about yourself, Carlos? Keep it, isn't it? No, no, oh, I, I get uh, mine. I get mine. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I, I enjoyed the first two Reanimator um, movies. Uh, I've seen the third one. Um, well, I'm surprised that Nigel hadn't seen it though. What? Reanimator. Reanimator. Yeah. Reanimator. <laughs> that that sounds like something being thrown up the ears. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to go get my Reanimator out. I enjoyed the first two movies. <laughs> I, I, I didn't watch it because I saw. Um, from beyond at the cinema and I absolutely fucking hated it. And when I seen them were both HP Lovecraft, I don't think are they the same director? Yeah, Stuart Gordon. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I ain't yeah, fucking yeah, going yeah. through that again. Yeah. I seen the first two. I enjoyed them, but not the last one though. That's fair enough, could definitely understand that. Great answer, Carlos, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? I've seen the first two reanimators. I Love the first one. I wasn't keen on the second. I haven't seen the third. And from beyond, <laughs> I just thought it was all right. Didn't hate it. Didn't love it. I thought, like Jeffrey, uh, is it Combs in that film when yeah, he's Jeffrey yeah. Combs? Yeah. yeah, when he um, this is like sucking on that woman's face. I just thought that was fucking disturbing. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, it's really fucking weird what what he's doing, but. Yeah, the first reanimator is it's amazing. You yeah. could have been stuck on someone else. Would you have made it even weirder? <laughs> yeah. it, for me, that film was just weird for fucking weird sake. Mm. Yeah. I remember walking out the cinema, there was me with two other lads, I was like, what the fuck have I just watched? Can you explain what happened to me? And they were like, fuck those. <laughs> yeah. But, it, but it, screams, it screams Lovecraft, that movie. It really does. Yeah, I agree, definitely. Awesome stuff, Randy. Great answer, my friend. Got Mike saying he's watched all your videos, Keith. Um, some great stuff. Wow. Keeping keep them videos coming in, my friend. Wow, wow, I killed there. Um, 
I'd like to tell you it was a pleasant week. It was fucking Jesus Christ. There was a lot going on. There was fucking too much going on. As a matter of fact, I'm fucking burnt out. Mm. Yes, you could definitely understand that, Keith, one hundred percent, mate. And my chat says, question for Keith, that German, not even if you're dead box, you have um, all the discs the same as the French still book release. I have that one, my finger is on a trigger for that German one. Uh, the French steelbook release. I actually don't know what the steelbook release. The French one. Um, I honestly, honestly don't know, David. I really don't. I, I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what that French steelbook you're talking about is. I've never seen it before. And uh, I'm, I'm for looking it. for it now. I've got it here somewhere because I whipped oh, it out it, last night. Have it down, let, let me have a look at it. Where will I find it? Just let me. To, you might refresh my memory. There it is. It's just the discs themselves you want to see. No, it's not me to cover. Oh shit! Wait a minute, you want me to cover? That's not French. That's German. No, it's not. No, it's not German. It's French. Oh, I have it. I am the German Night of the Living Dead box that you have. The discs are the same as the French one. And the steel books in English itself on the front. Yeah, thing, if I remember rightly. It, it, That's what I think it is. I think they're all the same, but they just um, make the J card a different language. See, yeah, that's, I, that's I, English. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're 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 absolutely right. It is the exact same disc because the steel book is the exact same that I have in that. Yeah, it is. It's the exact same. But that'll it's be in German same. instead of French, is it? Yeah, the yeah. No, mine are actually in English. What you you the writing on there? I think so. I think so. Oh, here, okay. Do you know something? It's going to annoy me now. Wait, let me check. <laughs> no worries, Keith. Hmm. Got a guy saying he watched Hitcher today on thinking John Ryder was some sort of mystic entity. What are your thoughts on this? I can't wait for 4K release. Yeah, that'd be epic for sure. To be honest, I really do need to watch Hitcher again. I've only seen it once and it was, I think, about 12 years ago since I watched, last watched it. So there is, I can't remember too much about it. So yeah, I definitely need to watch it again. But um, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was great. What about hmm. yourself, Jeff? Yeah, I love the Hitcher. Uh, fantastic movie. Uh, some sort of mystic. And yeah, I think there's a case that can be made for it. I mean, there's, uh, I guess that's open to interpretation. There's a little, you know, supernatural sort of mystical element to uh, what Carl was character in that film, I would say, a little bit, if you look for it. Um, mm. I think it's plausible, yeah. Yeah, but in any case, it's a great movie, and uh, I can't wait for the uh, upcoming 4K. It's going to be amazing. Awesome stuff, Jeff. Sorry. Great answer there, my friend. Sorry, Scott, just before you go to Dan there. Sorry, nice. Did you have two discs in your steelbook? Three. Oh, three, yeah. So it's the same thing then. It is. Cool. But mine, they look my title is in yeah. German. Uh, yeah, I think the, the right on yours is in green on that one. It's like the, that creamy colour. Mm. Right. Okay. So, but I think, I think the artwork's the same. They, just, they must just do the different print yeah. of the language on the discs. Yeah. 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 Well, by yourself, Dan. Yeah, he could put it that way. He's always seems to be one step ahead of uh, who, he's, who he's chasing down. So I've often thought he's a bit of a clever guy. So maybe he is a bit, a bit of a mystic, mystic entity. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that release as well. About time. Definitely, 100%. Awesome stuff. I'm doing great answer, my friend. What about yourself, Nigel? I don't think he's a mystic entity. I just think he's a fucking psychopath who's been doing what he does for years, and he's done it that long. He knows how people are taking out where they would go and what they're doing. He's got them all sussed out before he gets in the car with them. Mm. Um, my thoughts on the film, I absolutely fucking love it. It's It's got to be somewhere in the top 20 of greatest 80s horror slash thriller slash suspense, yeah. whichever you want to call it, films. Easily. Amazing film, and I can't wait for that 4K. Definitely, yeah. Awesome stuff, Nigel. Great answer, my friend. Thank you, sir. No worries. What about yourself, Keith? No, I, I don't think he's a mystic uh, entity. I think he's just like Jason, Michael, and Freddy Krueger. I think mm. I'm lucky bastards. <laughs> that's that's it. You know, the people just seem to run in the same wrong rooms all the fucking time. That that's the way I treat it. It's it's yeah. you know, it's it's a movie. <laughs> it is yeah. you know, at the end of the day, it's um I don't think it I don't think you're meant to see him that way, me personally. No. No. 
awesome stuff, Keith. Great answer, my friend. What sure. about yourself, Carlos? No worries. I agree with what Nigel says. Um, I think he's just kind of a, like a serial killer who's been getting away with it for so long. And I just love the way he kind of toys with uh, C. Thomas Howe because he does say in one of the st- one of the scenes, "I want you to stop me." So he's kind of playing with him, really. Um, yeah, and I am looking forward to that second site release when they do release it. Awesome stuff, Carlos. Great answer, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? Yeah, I also agree with Nudge. I just think he's been doing it that long. He's perfected his craft. Mm. And he's just doing what he can to f- f- fuck mm. everyone up that he comes oh. in his path. And he does it ever so well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is true. Uh, that scene where he's walking through the police station. Oh yeah, and it's just yeah. <laughs> he's just left. Car- he's just left carnage in his path. Yeah, it's yeah, it's an amazing film. I absolutely love it. And like you guys, I cannot wait for that 4K. Cannot yes, wait. 100%. It just it just feels like it's sold out already. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. yeah, there's one little scene in it. I won't say who does it to who, but every time it happens, I'm like, oh, because mm. they're going to put the hand in it. Somebody spits in somebody's face. Yeah, and the oh, one who gets spat in the face goes, mm. yeah. oh, I'm fucking a master of gun every time. <laughs> and I haven't seen this film for donkey's years, but that stuck. When was that? Imagine that in Forky, you'd be fucking dodging. <laughs> awesome stuff, Andy. Great answer, my friend. And there is one thing that I'll add to this actually. John Ryder is an evil fucker, man. <laughs> and someone's his brother, Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I was in that film, I'd be going to fuck off your hitching twat and put my foot down, I'd be off. <laughs> and, then, and then the credits would roll. <laughs> the end. <laughs> remember, do you remember, do you remember, that, remember when Jaws came out? They were saying that people were afraid to get into water after seeing Jaws. You imagine with the Hitcher as well. Yeah. Around that mm. time, no one was picking up anyone. I imagine mm. after seeing. I that. actually, I'm yeah. sure I heard that that's true. That you know. Yeah, I will believe it. Yeah, I would as well, definitely. I must admit, when I watched it, if ever I'd have thought of picking a Hitcher, that fucking stopped me. Mm. Mm. I've never picked one up, and I never would, especially now. Anyway, yeah. no, definitely there's a, not. There's a movie I have. Uh, oh, it's not. It's not a movie. It's it, it's an anthology series of. It's, I can't remember what it was. It might be Masters of Horror, but there's one story in it where two urban legends collide, where uh, a fella that's driving a truck, and he picks up hitchhikers, and he's a serial killer. And the person that he picks up, he hitchhikes, and he's a serial killer. Oh, oh that, sounds, okay. that sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's actually very, I can't. I have to actually have to look and see what it was, but it's a great. It's a great story. Yes, I want to pull up over here, and then I'm going to slit your throat. It's funny, I just want to say the fucking same thing to you. <laughs> it's, it's good. There's a, there's, there's a scene in the where the two of them are like the two of them. The, the, he's in the truck with him. And they're driving, and there's just this like ten minute segment where you can see that the two of them are literally sussing each other out, and they start realizing what's going on, hmm. and all that. It's fucking. It's very good. It's very clever. Mm. <laughs> it sounds great to be fair. Mm. I wouldn't mind watching that. It's Michael fun. Michael Moriarty is one of them. I can't remember who the other fellow is. Oh. Awesome. Mm. And we got Matt chat saying, um, Lewis Gossett Jr., another great one gone, loved yeah. him in Iron Eagle and Emily Mine. Emily Mine, yeah. And don't forget yeah. the classic Jaws 3. <laughs> yeah, there's actually two that no mentioned there. Are, um, two movies I fucking love by him. Uh, the Principal with John Belushi. Uh, I thought it was fantastic in that. And of course, Play Soldiers. Hmm. Right. Yeah. Was he not an officer yeah. and gentleman as well? Yeah. Officer and gentleman, yeah. yeah. That's right, the one he got the Academy Award. Yeah, that's right. Definitely. Have we got Peter McCluskey here? Hello, mate. Great to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Says, Hi, good Peter. evening, everyone. Amazing on up tonight. Really looking forward to it. And Monday Street, too. Thank you so much, mate. Yeah, really I appreciate it. Thank you. 
Right, chat, same battle with a big four film series. What's we <laughs> He didn't say the F word. What's <laughs> best films? Halloween, Friday 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Texas Chainsaw. Ooh. Oh, what's the best one out of those? I'm going to go with Halloween, I think. I really love that film. I like... Um, all of them bar Friday 13th. I still don't mind Friday 13th, but like I said tonight, I do need to rewatch that one and I'm planning on doing a watch, uh, a watch along with that film in the future at some point. So definitely looking forward to rewatching that one. What about yourself, Jeff? Yeah, I love all of them. Um, it's hard, but I'm going to say Halloween. Uh, it's definitely the one I watched the most out of, out of, this, uh, out of the series that, that are mentioned here. So I'm, I'm saying Halloween. Awesome stuff, Jeff. Great choice, my friend. What about yourself, Dan? Oh, easily the original Halloween. For me, it's tied at my number one with The Shining, with my favourite horror film ever. Nice. That's my pick. I, I, actually, Dan, see when you mentioned sh The Shining, I, I had done something new to this room. I, I sent it to Nige. I'll see if I can show you. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh the overlook. <laughs> <one>. oh, <wow. laughs> oh, nice. He sent me a photo and I was like, that's mint. <laughs> I love it. It is. Brilliant. That's nice. Awesome stuff, Dan. Great choice, my friend. What about yourself, Nigel? Uh, Friday the 13th, the original. Easily for me. It's my second favourite film of all time. Awesome stuff, Nigel. But I do love all four. Yeah. <coughs> Great films, definitely. Great choice, my friend. What about yourself, Keith? You know, it's, it's, it's a weird. <laughs> Four Frenches, the best. What's the best film? Original. Oh, right. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Halloween. Sorry. The original yeah, out with them. Yeah. 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 Comfortably Halloween for me. As much as I love Friday the 13th, and I really do, uh, it has to be Halloween for me. Awesome stuff, Keith. Great choice, my friend. Cheers, mate. What about yourself, Carlos? No worries. Fucking damn close, though. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's got, it's got to be Halloween. For, it's got to be Halloween for me. But I've got to confess, because I know Nigel's a huge Friday the 13th fan. I don't uh, like the I original. <laughs> no, do you know what it is about the original? It's For me, I mean, I'm going through, the, I'm actually going through all the Friday the 13th movies at the moment. And I always, three and four, but the first one, for me, it was the ending. That was, you know, the, the sort of tussle with Betsy Palmer and uh, and the last, the final girl. I thought it looked, it looks really, really soft. Like she's hardly, they're hardly even connecting. And yeah, every time I, I see it, Can I, I just think, you know, Betsy. Okay. Sorry, Carlos, I just wanted to just correct you there. Just, there is one bit in it where she's Betsy Palmer was smashing, smashing her head off the ground and apparently the director had to come out to him. And say, look, and you know, you know, I'm that. as well. That's real, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 She's fucking in me. Yeah. 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 Tell me, old <laughs> bitch, the jack in. I don't know. I, 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 some, I think it was the tussle that was inside the house. Yeah. It just looked really, really soft. Yeah, I know. I, I get what you're I know what you mean. Lands in the furniture. And, yeah. And I know she's a lot, lot, lot more older, but it looked like she actually performed that fall rather than. Having a, somebody, uh, a stunt woman, do that scene and properly fall into the the city, it just looked a little bit soft for, for me. But um, yeah, yeah. I tell you but what, I, bit do... I thought did look real when she whacked her in with the gun right in the cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised she got the fucker out of that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, and Adrian King pulls back out and goes. Awesome <laughs> 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 stuff, Carlos. Great choice. What There's another ten about. subs gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be starting from fucking scratch by the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> what about yourself, Andy? I might have to go with Halloween as well. Mm. If you just think that that movie's the, I think I, lo I love all four, but I think that movie's the most effective with what little it has. Because when you when you break it down, it's it's pretty much just a guy walking around in a mask. 
but yeah, it's it's just so effective. With it, just it, it's one of these movies I think that does a lot with a little. And I just think it's a it's a masterclass of of sound design as well. That film, the ending is just it's creepy as fuck, man. It just mm. stays with you. Yeah. Whenever I watch that, whenever I watch Halloween, I always feel like that's going on outside. Yeah, yeah that's great. That's great. Yeah. It's just. Good... Yeah, I always feel like I'm checking out my window. I'm just seeing, <laughs> looking at a house yeah. over the road and seeing mm. if someone's carrying a body, you know, across mm. the porch <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. No, yeah. It's, it's, it's funny. It's funny you mentioned that scene. It's it's something you don't see in movies today, and it's so effective. You know, yeah. when you see like just the scene where the, uh, Tommy looks out the window and there's Michael just standing across the road. It's just simple things like yeah. that, and I, I I think they should put them back into fucking movies. They work so well. Yeah. They did, yeah. and they're genuine creepy scenes to look at. Um, yeah, I can't praise it enough. That bit where he was carrying the body around the house when he looked out the window, that's one of the scenes that stuck with me when I was a kid. It fucking yeah. absolutely terrified me. Yeah. Mm. I, I, said it to, I said it to the bike, we said it, I've mentioned it before, but that scene, the end that Andy's talking about, right? I presume you're, when you hear him breathing. Yeah. 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 If you actually yeah. watch the scene, if you actually watch the scene where it shows the house and him breathing, you can actually yeah. see Michael walking, coming around the corner holding the body. They actually use the same yeah. scene. Oh. Bit. Yeah. Oh, that was me. I must admit, though, people say what's the scariest film you've seen, and I always say Halloween because I always think back to how scared I was when I originally watched this, and that kept yeah. me awake for three nights. It scared the shit out of me. I could every time yeah, I closed right. my eyes, I was like, I'd keep looking. I had the covers up here looking because I could. I, that fucker was at the end of my bed. I'm telling you. It got me that bad. But there was a lot of scenes like that from I got from Halloween too as well. I'm not going to lie, like that one scene that sticks out in my mind is the bit where when Michael Myers he, he appears in the, the rear view mirror of the car. I thought that was Ooh. fucking terrifying. Yeah, it is. Mm. 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 Definitely. You know, the, the, the good thing, the good thing that I like about the first two Halloween movies, uh, especially the first one, there's hardly any blood in the movie. No. Mm -hmm. It's just like him in the shadows. I mean, you got that scene where Jamie Lee Curtis is in the doorway and she thinks that she's hit uh, Michael Myers and then he props up and he's just there in the shadows. It's just the imagery. That's scary, it. it's that. Like, it's just fantastic. I mean, also the scene where um, there's that scene where he's in the, where, in the back garden where the sheet, the bed sheets are on the washing line and he's hiding behind the bed oh. sheets. I mean, something like that, which is like Keep says, it's just so simple that, you know, you see that image for a brief second and then you look mm. away again, you look over and he's not there. That would mm. really play on your mind. And that's, well, that's scary what, enough. That's one thing that John Carpenter accomplished for Halloween at the time because it was very, it was unheard of to scare an mm. audience during the daytime. So yeah. when you seen when you seen that scene of him hiding behind the bushes, and then that scene that you were talking about behind the washing, it was just mm. it was it, it wasn't a thing. You know, horror movies they always scare the audience that night when it's dark. Yeah. You know, so I remember people going nuts over Scream Two when you see Randy's death, and I was like, it was just so unexpected. They're like, wow, it was in the middle of the in the middle of the day, you know, out in the open, just unheard of. You know. Yeah. yeah. That's that's got to be one of the scariest that I found as well for that reason. I yeah. mean, I, when I watched that film, it was on the telly, and I was off school. I had chicken pox, and I watched it with my mother. And the next day, my mum and dad went to work. I was in the house all day on my own. I was busting for the toilet. I didn't dare leave the fucking living room wow. because of that scene. Well, because usually you think, yeah, it's daytime, I'm safe. Nah, yeah. that put all out the window. That did. Yeah, absolutely. It absolutely. I can't tell you how badly that film scared me originally. So Another good. thing I've got to say, it's not so much the kill, when he stabs the person with the blade and the person's stuck mm. against the wall. And that's the just the way he, just the way he tilts his head. I mean, like a that's dog. Really, that's like really disturbing how he could, he's like it admiring is. his work and yeah. the way he tilts his head. I mean, that that's just, that's just I, that's why I, I always wanted to know about that scene. Was that, did John Carpenter tell him to do that? Or was that Nick Castle that done that mm -hmm. himself? I'd love to know. 
Mm. Something's telling me that was something Nick Castle did. Yeah, I'm so, I could I, be I wrong, but so, that, yeah. that's mm. it's ringing in my head like there's something like a vague bell ringing. I'm sure he, he just like improvised it. They're like, fuck, keep that in. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Something's telling me that's the way it was. Do you know, do you know, it was do you know, all for the first do... time when he does stab him. That was the first time I ever heard like a knife wound go like <laughs> through the body. I was like, ugh. There that is was something. It. I, was, I was fucking terrified. There is something that does bother me about that scene, though. That I, I, I don't know why, but I, every time I watch it, even Ellen says it to me. But when you actually look at the knife, it's not it's not long enough to accomplish what it's done. Uh, yeah. mm. Mm. I, if you actually look at it, I'm not kidding you. It's not the biggest knife in the world. And when you see it, it's not even in them full. It's kind of like there's still a bit of it sticking out of them. And you're kind of there. And every yeah. time I watch it, I'm like, he actually shouldn't be hanging now. Hmm. These are the dangers yeah. for watching the same films over and over, boys and girls. That's, you get to notice that's these part, things. That's part, <laughs> just yeah. ruin it. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. But a uh, great yeah. choice by, by Andy. Awesome stuff, yeah. mate. And we got round two as well, Battle of the Big Four fil Film Series. Halloween 2, Friday 13th 2, <laughs> and on Elm Street Part 2, and Texas Chainsaw 2. Or, oh, again, good. another Ooh. tough one, because I really enjoy all those films, actually. Um, yeah, yeah. Halloween 2, I think I'm going to go with, though. I think that is still my favourite one. Mm. But Friday 3 Part 2 is really close to be fair. I actually really like that sequel. I think it's really mm. good. Yeah. What about yourself, Jeff? Yeah, I'm inclined to say Halloween 2 as well because it just follows on from the original so well. Um, mm. And I always usually watch them back to back on uh, on Halloween night. So. Um... Oh. <laughs> That was Scotty. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. He's uh, back. Guess who's back? Straight um, is a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I, That's I like an awful movies. word, that. <laughs> the stream. Stream, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, Halloween 2 for me, even though I love uh, Friday 2. Um, not so much Nightmare on Elm Street 2. That's not a favorite of mine, to be, to be fair, but. I do like Texas Chainsaw too more than I should probably. Um, but you know, I, I, will, I will say Halloween too for this round as well. Yeah. Awesome stuff, Jeff. Great choice, my friend. What about yourself, Dad? It's easy for me. Halloween two is, I think, it's one of the strongest sequels just in general across all genres. Um, yeah, I love the third one as well, even though it's nothing to do with it. But yeah, yeah, two, so Halloween two, cool. definitely. Awesome stuff, Dad. Great choice, my friend. What about yourself, Nigel? Again, I absolutely love all four of them. Um, but for me, it's easy again. Friday the 13th, part two. Awesome stuff, Nigel. Great choice, my friend. What about you, yourself, sir. Keith? No worries. Yeah, look, this, this is simple for me. You all know, uh, you know, Halloween 2 is not Halloween 2. It's Halloween 1 to me. That's, yes. you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's the second half of a, of one movie uh so i i re highly regard halloween too as much as i do halloween so yeah that's easy for me i think it's awesome. great that you can look at it like that knowing it's two different directors as well yeah yeah especially one of them being Carpenter. Yeah. i think i think it's like really good the fact that it can follow on like that i don't even treat I, I swear to god i even every time i've watched halloween too i'm almost it's almost in my, this weird mindset i have with that movie where i'm like i just think it's john Carpenter that's directing it yeah yeah. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome stuff, Keith. Great choice, my friend. Yeah, thank you. No worries. What about yourself, Carlos? Uh, this one's a bit more tougher. Um, I do like Friday the Thirteenth too. That's my favourite in in the Friday series. Um, I do enjoy Freddy, Elm Street too. I think that's a yeah, lot of fun. Um, I know it's not one of the favourites among Freddy fans, but it's got to be Halloween 2 uh, for, for me. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, the guy who directed it. Um, Rick Rosenthal. Rick Rosenthal. Yeah, I, I'm still amazed that he actually, you know, he made the best sequel, but then he made the, one of the worst ones in, in Resurrection, which is an absolute yeah. pile of shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> unbelievable. I mean, you know, he, he, perfected, <laughs> he, he followed on with the John Carpenter star from the original movie. Then he done Resurrection. I, I still can't sort of... I didn't you know, know he directed that one. Yeah. yeah. He did. Oh, wow. wow, that's chocolate cheese, that's, is it? 
I'll tell you, I'll, t- I'll tell you the difference there because he didn't have John Carpenter with him on that movie. Mm, yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, Halloween she- too. But I, I do love. Again, that's probably my favourite kill. Um, the nurse in the hallway. I mean, when Michael Myers picked her up, it, I mean, fuck me, it looked like he hmm. lifted her up with a forklift truck. I mean, she yeah. went like about yeah. 10, 10 foot in the air. Yeah. Great kill. Yeah, Halloween too, easy. Awesome yeah. stuff, Carlos. Great choice there, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? Yeah, I, I enjoy all four films, but I, I have to go with Halloween too as well. It It's the... It delivers on the slasher that the first film doesn't with the gore. It's more gory. Mm. Yeah, um, true. Well, yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I just like the way it's a direct sequel. It just picks up straight after the first one. I actually, I actually prefer the, the the theme to Halloween two more than the first one. When I listen to it, it's it. a yeah, it's a cool, yeah, yeah. version. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just, yeah. I just, oh yeah, God, no. Oh. Uh, Alan Howard, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but yeah, I just, I just think it's a fun, a fun film. Halloween two. It's that that bit as well. I noticed in four K with what that kid, what was actually happening, where he's bit into the razor blade. Yeah, oh yes. god, fucking nasty man. Fucking years for years we d- I didn't know what that was. Yeah, really. Until I got the until I got the four K disc. Wow. Yeah, I was the same because the, the DVD. Oh, I've always known what it was. It's just like the first time I seen, it, I was like, "Oh fuck!" Uh, I did. I did think, "How the hell's you got that there?" Then you realise like it was in an apple. I, I'm, not, that's I, I'm that. not trying to be funny. I'm not being trying to try to be funny about it. But when I seen it on DVD, and the DVD that I had, when you look at it. It actually just looks like it's a bubble, like it, yeah. You know, it actually looks like really? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Awesome stuff, Andy. Great choice, my friend. And finally, we have round three as well to round it off. He says, "Round <laughs> the fourth film series, Halloween three, Friday thirteenth three, Not Run Out Street three, and Texas Chainsaw three. I'll leave that there for now. Or we'll be here all night, indeed, mate. No worries yeah. at all." <laughs> But uh, oh, again, tricky one. Oh, I love. Oh, I'm actually not having seen Texas Chainsaw Three, so I can't comment on that one. But love all the others. I'm gonna go with Halloween Three. I think though. that's one of my favourite horror films ever. Actually, I slightly prefer it over the original, just a little bit. I love them all, all the first three. But that is my favourite Halloween film. Not my Nine Street Part Three. though. absolute quality as well. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I would be inclined to say Halloween 3 as well. Um, I do love Nightmare on Elm Street 3. That's my second favorite after the original. Um, it's a tie between that one and Halloween 3, I think. I didn't care too much for Texas Chainsaw 3. Friday 13th Part 3, I do love it, despite the weird 3D you know, shoving shit in the camera effects mm-hmm. and stuff. Uh, because it introduces, of course, the hockey mask and stuff. and the iconic look of Jason. So I do like it for that aspect. Um, but yeah, I will say again, of all of them, probably Halloween 3, closely followed by Night- Nightmare Mount Street 3, I would say. Yeah. Awesome stuff, Jeff. Great answer there, my friend. What about yourself, Dan? Again, another easy one Halloween 3. I originally didn't like it when I was a kid because Michael Myers wasn't in it. But when I picked it up on Blu ray, <laughs> I absolutely love it now. I've watched it probably the most out of that old box set. Awesome stuff, that and great choice there, my friend. What about yourself, Nigel? Halloween 3 for me as well on this one. But I absolutely love Texas Chainsaw 3, and it gets a lot of hate. I love that one. But, yeah, definitely Halloween 3. Awesome stuff, Nigel. Great choice there, my friend. What about yourself, Keith? Yeah, I've got it. Uh, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, look, I don't even have to answer this because you know what it is. It's Halloween 3 all day, every day. Uh, me and Nine said it before. Uh, there is no better movie out there, out there to capture the theme of Halloween like Halloween 3. Um, it's a genius. It's, it's just a shame it never worked. The thought of seeing a different Halloween anthology story every Halloween would have been fucking great. 
Um, yeah. It's just a shame the, the movie didn't make money. So, um, yeah, Halloween 3 for me. Awesome stuff, Keith. Great choice, my friend. Yeah, well, no, thank you. I've got to go. I've got to go with Nightmare on Elm Street three. I think Freddy Krueger is at his best in this one. I can prefer it just slightly over the original. Um, I think he's got the right balance of uh, him with with his humour, and it's, it's, for me, it's got the best kills in, in part three with the uh, the puppet. Um, string kill and um, yeah. the TV yeah. break one with uh, Arquette. All right, not me, not me, Elm Street three for me. Awesome stuff, Carlos. Great choice, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? Yeah, like Carlos, I have to go with Dream Warriors. It's very, very close between that and Season of the Witch, though. It is mm. it's 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 level peggings, but Dream Warriors was the one I grew up with. Uh, movie was part of my childhood probably is my favorite elm street movie um just above the first one but you just i just love the characters in that film i just absolutely love them it's just so entertaining yeah just a great movie it's very asmr-esque like when the he's doing that bit with the pendulum I just, <laughs> yeah it's just a movie i just absolutely love it's so creative it's so fun yeah i just you just love it. Awesome stuff, Andy. Great choice there, my friend. Got Gary saying, sorry, Keith, but apart from Halloween, which is one of the best stories to come out of the 70s, well, for <laughs> me, it's going to be the original Dawn of the Dead is my favourite film of all time. Absolutely love it. What about the Bob, Jeff? Uh, there's, there's a few. Um could say of course the original Texas Chainsaw which is uh, a great one mm. from the 70s but I think I'm gonna go for I think the Omen is the one I'm gonna pick oh yeah the awesome stuff Jeff great choice there my friend what about yourself Dan Exorcist for me uh, Exorcist along with Jaws are the only two films that yeah. truly terrify me um mm. yeah i can't i couldn't watch either of them on my own that may surprise people with jaws but they both scare me awesome well, stuff done great choices there my friends scary films to be fair what about yourself nigel i'm exactly the same as dan jaws and the exorcist with a with a very close runner up of probably black christmas as well that's another cracker oh yeah I, 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 I actually know I still need to watch that but I bet that's incredible though to be fair it's amazing awesome stuff Nigel great choices there my friend Gee, Scott oh, no worries what about yourself Keith yeah this is uh, this is very comfortable for me uh, Phantasm all day every day oh. Oh, uh, yeah. what a bloody horror movie again just it's I love I just love an eerie tone to a horror movie, and that's exactly what yeah. I get with Phantasm. It, it's batshit crazy. It makes absolutely no sense, but it, it works. It works incredibly yeah. well. I agree. Great film. Awesome stuff, Keith. Great choice yes. there, my friend. Thank you. No worries. What about yourself, Carlos? Um, it's a great era for horror movies of the 70s. I, I, I yeah. love Dawn of the Dead, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, Jaws is probably the better made film out of the ones we just mentioned, but I've got to go with the Omen because the movie scared the shit out of me as a young teen. Um, I was I was freaked out for a couple of weeks after when I watched that movie. Yeah, the Omen for me. Apparently, the uh, the reviews have already come out. Some early reviews have come out for the uh, the first Omen, oh, and apparently, yeah. apparently, it's supposed to be fantastic. Oh wow. Really? wow! They're saying they're saying they're going That's right back to the original. I thought you were going to say. No, right back to the original home, and apparently it feels like the original. Oh, um, that's it's, it's still yeah, very it's supposed, to be a, it's supposed to be a prequel. Mm. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to. I don't know if I will watch that in the cinema. It's debatable. Yeah. That's fair enough. I'll probably watch it when it comes out on physical, to be fair. Awesome stuff, Carlos. Great choice, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? All amazing answers, but I'll I'll go with uh, Deep Red. I just love that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's a good one. 
I do love deep red. Yeah. Yes. It's just that that fucking clockwork doll scares me shitless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horrible little fucker, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you not think that little fucking bite it makes it even worse? <laughs> Yeah. It's not on a bike. I thought he was like a little diggy diggy. I'm he's sure he's a bit wet peddling summer. Yeah. No, he's he's just mar he just marches out. He just comes out on his own. That's been a while since I've watched like that's even fucking worse. See, I, I thought it was a, I thought it was um a little tricycle he was on, but I always got a confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> oh, little creepy cunt. Indeed. <laughs> awesome stuff, Frankly. Great choice, my friend. And we've got Andy's cardboard Star Wars here. Hello, mate. Hey, Andy. Hello, Hello miss. Happy Friday, oh, yeah. lads. I've just tried to watch Barbie and got 20 minutes in and turned it off. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking hell. You're, You're a brave it. man for attempting. I'll give you that. Mm. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. oh, I am. Yeah, well, I'm not bothered watching that shite, no. Sorry. I'll tell, you where I, I tell you, I'll tell you, Andy, I'll tell you where I stand with Barbie. I couldn't even make it through the fucking trailer. Never mind the fucking movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Bob even attempt that. Uh, what about yourself, Jeff? Yeah, no, I definitely haven't seen it. Um, I have seen the trailer, oddly enough. Um, I could get through that anyway. Uh, but yeah, not, not not for me, the Barbie movie. I love Margot Robbie. I have a huge crush on her. Um, but I, I, I won't watch that one, no. No, that's fair enough. Could definitely understand that. I'm smirking because Andy's fucking smirking because I know why he's smirking. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. Don't because he the likes fucking the cunt. Cunt. Yeah, this, fucking, this fucker <laughs> looks... He, but he likes fucking everything. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, he, found yourself, he found redeeming qualities with fucking the cycle remake. <laughs> <laughs> what about yourself, Dan? I went to cinema to see it, so I got an eleven-year-old daughter, and uh, oh, yeah. of course, that's the reason I, you went. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I he neglects the turkey, and he fucking left there at home. <laughs> I, 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 stayed, I stayed away for it, but um, I realised how bad it was when she tried watching a Blu-ray of it. I, uh, it is a bad film, I think. There's nothing I can say positive about it at all. Did you have that moment with your daughter where you sat her down and you went, No, you see what you're doing to daddy? Daddy's upset now. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> you've upset daddy. <laughs> yeah. Am I going with you, dad? No, I'm going with me fuckers. Oh, what are we at this? I don't want you talking all the way through it. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> back yourself, Carlos. As much as I like Ryan Gosling in Drive. No, Barbie, no, no, thank you. I mean, if somebody gave me a limited steel book of it and it's worth £200, I would not watch that fucking movie. No, absolutely not. Not, not for me. Thanks, fuck, it's not just me. I got slated for disliking it without seeing it. Hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> not for me. Great answer, Carlos, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? <laughs> yes, Andy, what about you? Yeah, Andy. <laughs> mm. It's all on Andy now. He's going to go <laughs> fucking shit. I've seen it twice. I absolutely loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy the 4K? Yeah. <laughs> I went to, see it, went to see it at the cinema. I was pissed off because... I wanted to see it open at night. I had to see it on Sunday because it was fucking booked. <laughs> yeah, the ticket was like hot shit. And then, and then I, I wanted to floor. see it open at night. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do a double, double bill of that in Oppenheimer. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. It was a big one, it. Yeah. 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 But couldn't, couldn't do it. Getting a ticket for Barbie was just like fucking all shit. Yeah, well, there, there's, there's Andy. There's Andy fucking sat, sitting in the cinema. I see your fucking pink. And here's him sitting in the middle of it all. <laughs> and he went yeah. a pink suit. Yeah. <laughs> dyed his, he's dyed his beard pink as well. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. How I've, many got people big, I, I've got the biggest pair of bollocks here. I'm coming on the stream with six other fellas and saying I was yes. fucking Barbie. Yeah. I think, yeah, fair play. Yeah. 
but but literally, <laughs> you didn't way, fucking tell us that when you are when you are in the fucking cinema, you are telling everyone in the cinema that you're a fucking movie critic, and that's the only reason why you are there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to critique because I'm, I'm here to tell everybody how shit this is. Go on, get. <laughs> I had to take a pen and pad and make myself look busy. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Ken, get into a, a unmolded minge. Can you imagine oh, that it was that popular, all the tickets out, outside? Barbie tickets, anyone? <laughs> Buy your Barbie tickets. <laughs> but that's, that, that's, the, that's the one great thing about Andy, though, in all fairness. We've said it numerous times, the, the way that he can always find anything redeeming on any movie. I know. Yeah. It's a gift. It's a How gift. the fuck he does it, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I just, it's just I a just, gift I, and a talent. I'll watch. I'll watch any anything as long as it's we know like, <laughs> original. <laughs> Andy, when Andy when Andy went to see Barbie that night, he went home and he watched Psycho remake and fucking uh, Grease two. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I will give him one thing. He's the only person who I have ever met to this day. Who's who seriously watched the double bill one after the other of okay. fucking Cannibal Holocaust and Cannibal I Ferox? Oh, who in the right mind would fucking do that? <laughs> this hard bastard did. To be yeah. to be fair, I think that was the day after I'd watched Barbie for the second time. <laughs> so you were cheering yourself up. <laughs> Not forgetting as well, Jim. It's the only man I know as well that watched all Friday the 13th in one day. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. wow! Shit! Yes, yeah. he did. I forgot about that one. That's my record. I watched. Uh... <laughs> was it one to ten? I, I watched the first ten. Yeah, in one day. <sighs> wow! Wow! Yeah, I started. I think I started about eight in the morning and finished at four in the morning. The, <laughs> the next... I was doing things in between as well. I took the dog out twice. <laughs> That's so fucking good, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Ten in one day. That'd make me never want to watch the cunts again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely. You know what's happening? I can understand why he, are we 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 done six in one night, myself and Ellen. Wow. I, I, I get I get it. I get it. Like but the only difference between yeah. me, and, uh, me and Andy was me and Ellen were drinking while doing it. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, and it was just getting story better and better as the night went fucking on until we were literally <laughs> sitting there dribbling every time we fucking smiled. You know. <laughs> It was still getting better and better for me. I was I, from the minute I put the first disc in, I couldn't wait to put Jason Goes to Hell in to see that girl get elbowed in the face. Go on, go on, Nige. Go on, Nige. Nige. Go on. Do it. Go on. You want to do it? Go on, Nige. Yeah. <laughs> Save me the bees. <laughs> <laughs> No, but yes, what, <laughs> one, one thing I will say is that. Oh, I'm back. The camera's gone. No worries. The bees. But yeah, definitely, Andy's one odd fucker, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but I watched yeah, Cannibal I Holocaust, right. followed by Cannibal Ferox, and it was another great day of saving the bees. <laughs> the bees. The bees. <laughs> Great answer, Andy, my friend. And we've got Mike Silverax right here. Hello, Mike. It's great to see you. Hey, Mike. Michael, how you diddling, mate? Got Pete saying another TV show face off because why well, have not um, Rose Ab versus Married with Children, but Young Ones versus Bottom and Friends versus Seinfeld. Oh, tough, tough one, that. Um, out of the first two, I've only seen Married with Children, so I'd have to go with that one by default. Young Ones versus Bottom. It, it's an easy one for me. I do love the Young Ones. I'll go out watching that as a kid, but Bottom's my favourite sitcom of all time. Absolutely love it. Friends versus Seinfeld. I haven't seen Seinfeld, and I'm not a huge fan of Friends, so I can't really comment on those two. What about yourself, Jeff? So, yeah, the first one, uh, definitely Married with Children. It's actually my favourite sitcom of all time. I love uh, Married with Children, Al Bundy. I don't know, plays that character so well. Um, I haven't seen Young Ones or Bottom because obviously I'm not British. <laughs> um, and uh, Friends for the Seinfeld, I'm a big Friends fan, I will admit, so I, I'll, I'll go, I'll go uh, for Friends. I like that show, yeah. <laughs> awesome stuff, Jeff. Great choices there, my friend. What about yourself, Dan? Well, I haven't seen Married with Children, and I'm not particularly a fan of Roseanne either. Um, bottom for me, it's one of my favourite shows, and friends yeah i do like friends 
awesome stuff. Don't great choices there, my friend. What about yourself, Nigel? <clears throat> Um, the first one I'm going to have to go with Roseanne because it's the best of a bad bunch. Um, the second one, this is this used to always fight in my mind, but it's it's got to be the young ones. That was the one that was on, and I used to watch constantly when we were at school and stuff. But I do love Bottom as well, very very close. Um, I've never seen Seinfeld, and I fucking despise Friends. <laughs> so I can't really judge that one. Yeah, that's why he's always on his own. <laughs> all sorts of stuff, Nigel. Great choices there, my friend. Thank you. No worries. What about yourself, Keith? Yeah, uh, yeah. I've never seen Roseanne, so I'd I'd have to go with Married with Children and that. But like, Married with Children is a great show, anyway. Uh, I've never seen The Young Ones or Bottom, so I can't comment there. Uh, wow. Friends, friends over Seinfeld. Even though I have to admit, oh. I really, I really enjoyed Friends. But if I see another episode of Friends now today, I swear to God, <laughs> I'd stick an umbrella up my arse and fucking open it. Uh, it they just <laughs> fucking kill that show by over by overplaying it, like Comedy Central. Yeah. I don't even know Comedy why it's Central, called Comedy yeah. Central. Just yeah. call it fucking Friends Central. You know, yeah. it's just <laughs> fucking ridiculous. I've never seen one channel relying on. Uh, one fucking sitcom like the way they do with friends. I've seen clips and I've seen like little chunks of episodes. I've never seen a full episode, but every time I've like I've been there, people are laughing. I'm just sat there straight faced. I never laughed once. Mm. It's about yeah, as funny as Red Hot calls that. up your fucking ring. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, that's probably funnier to be honest. <laughs> Awesome stuff, Keith. Great choices, my friends. Cheers. What about yourself, Carlos? No worries. Uh, I've got to be married with children because Roseanne's fucking annoying. I uh, can't stand her. <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> I used to um, watch it when I was a kid. Young ones and bottom. That's, that's a close one. I actually preferred bottom because I think they're more seasoned as, uh, as they went along. Uh, fucking hate friends. Oh, it just annoys the shit out of me. Um, I think Courtney Cox and uh, Jennifer and their brother sucks. All that moaning, I think they all that moaning that Courtney Cox and uh, Jennifer Aniston do. I think they just need shagging in the series. Uh, and that would make it really interesting for me. Track on, you can have the I, fucking pair of them. I, I could not watch that even if you paid me. Um, so out of them two. Uh, like any of them ones, Seinfeld or Friends, I'm afraid. Awesome stuff, Carlos. Great answer, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? Uh, I have to go with Roseanne because I've never seen Married with Children. I own them both, but Roseanne, not the first season and not the last season, but the middle bit is really good. Um, The, the last season's got one of the worst television episodes you'll ever see in your life. Oh, it's just oh. Awesome. It's the, oh, the, I, just, I didn't even fucking see it, and I know what happens in that. It's the uh, it's the episode with Steven Seagal. Yeah, I can well believe it. Steven Could Seagal. I just say one thing? Yeah. Could I say one thing, Andy? Do you not think that Roseanne Barr's got one of them faces that you just want to smack in the face? <laughs> she's, she's, she's got one of them she's faces. Fucking horrible, isn't she? <laughs> It's just like, not a nice woman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fucking it's, oh, irritable. Yeah, definitely. But I, I, I've got a lot of nostalgia for Roseanne. Yeah, I, grew, okay, fair I, I, I like, I like the kids in it more than. Yeah, yeah same here. And um, mm. I, I quite like John Goodman in it as well. Like, but mm. um, yeah, I've never seen Married with Children. I've got the box out. I need to delve into it. Um, I've, I've never seen Bottom. I'm ashamed to say. So wow, I'm, you'd I'm, love it. Yeah, I love the young ones. I think the young ones is great. Oh, you love bottom. You, you, you'd love bottom. Yeah, I need to. I need to do my own work on that. Oh, it's great, definitely. Fr Friends and Seinfeld. I love them both, but I've only ever watched Seinfeld in its entirety once. I've lost count how many times I've watched Friends. Um, so I, yeah, I that's because by default. That's because you can't be bothered to knock off fucking Comedy Central. That's why. 
It was it was on everywhere. It was on E4, it was on Channel 4, it was on Channel 5. Comedy said you, you couldn't escape it. Mm. Yeah. Awesome Good. stuff, Randy. Great choices there, my friend. May I just add, by the way, that I actually did see uh, one of the live bottom shows. I actually went to see it. Oh, wow. Which oh, one? Okay. It's funny. It's, it's funny a big fucking, number two to her. It's, it's funny oh, you fucking mentioned that because fucking me and Andy got to see your fucking bottom tour. You've got the hear it. <laughs> <laughs> you got the fucking hear it. <laughs> hey, he says this, boys and girls, but backstage last week, Andy played a few and Keith went, whoa, whoa, that one, he that's did. mine, that's mine, yeah. that's my favourite. <laughs> He's like great. fucking Stewie Griffin. <laughs> that's mine. That's mine. It's, it's, that's my favourite. It's the perfect fucking fart. It had everything. It had drama. It, it had shot it's values. It. It, it, it had suspense. And uh, you know, it, it had we, mystery. We, and when I say we, mystery, I mean, wow, did he actually shit himself at the end of it? Of it course. Suspense. It Yes. We can, give, we can give the folks a little bit of a taste at home now. Oh, here he goes. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, go on. Keith, play my one, play my one. <laughs> I need to find the fucker first. I'm surprised you don't fucking know where it is the amount of times you've played it. <laughs> Look at them all, with poison, anticipation, which is French if for eagerness. <laughs> I did not know that. But... <laughs> That's all I, I have to speak fluent French, yes. <laughs> right. you've, you've, you've... Right, even when it's finished, you've got to be quiet because you've got to hit, you've just got to listen to what Nige says after this one. Yeah. <laughs> an orgasm out of my asshole that was why i said <laughs> the, after, the aftermath of nige on the rubber balloon diet <laughs> you need to find case he'll never forgive oh, you for it oh, we're not sitting here we're not there's no way we're sitting here waiting for andy to play fucking farts <laughs> no he wants to wait afterwards so he can listen to all fucking 50. <laughs> Got Gary saying I'm loving the new edition in the Overlook Pod, Keith Barry, Jack Torrance. Oh, yeah, yeah. We 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 watched The Shining and Stuck to Sleep All in one night, and I said to Adam, I was always looking to get a new rug for this room, and I said, you know what, I'm going to fucking try and get the carpet from The Shining, and we couldn't fucking believe how easy we actually found one, and that's so we're fucking delighted with it. Now you just need a dirty great big go kart to go with it, and two fucking twins <laughs> at the end of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not them creepy little cunts. <laughs> no. Matt, Matt so currently watching Heartbreak Ridge. Love this film. Great movie. Film. What a yeah. film. Fantastic. Never thought I'd hear myself say that, but wow. Yeah. Glad you enjoyed it, Nigel. Mm. And glad you enjoyed Fucking it. hell. Amazing. Oh, it is really good. Do you enjoy it, Jeff? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's an Eastwood favourite of mine. But then he's done a lot of favourites, so. Yeah, yeah, that's the only one of them. Yeah. Awesome stuff, Jeff. Great answer, my friend. I'm thinking of the long film. You are. Yeah, you're, oh, you're thinking of Axel. You're thinking of Axel. Yeah, and he's fucking going to me. Yeah, it was one. He must thinking the same. <laughs> I'll take that back. I've never seen the cunt. Axel <laughs> <laughs> um, Ridge. Axel Ridge. Habrick Ridge. See, they're also on the fucking same. Yeah. Axel uh, Ridge is a damn fine yeah. film. Oh, it is. Fuck's yeah. sake. <laughs> you well, were but, thinking the same, weren't you? Be honest. No, I wasn't. I knew it was Clint Eastwood. Bastard. No, I'm not. I thought it was Clint Eastwood. <laughs> <laughs> because it's Clint Eastwood. <laughs> he just likes making me look a cunt. My lad doesn't take much effort. I thought you I thought you actually said it, but no worries. Uh, have a fuck. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> but um, have you seen that one before, Keith? <clears throat> Did I not answer oh, it? Yeah, I did. No, no, it's a great, sorry, it's a great movie. Yeah, I loved it. Uh, it's one of my favourites. Yeah, just thought I'd double check because... Sorry, yeah, no, 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 Just like oh, double oh, checking oh, if you're as fucking as thick as fuck as I am. <laughs> oh, right, I, I actually got the wrong movie as well. No, I didn't, no, I didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of Gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of fucking Hacksaw, fucking Jim Duggan. <laughs> 
Have you seen it before, Dan? <laughs> yeah, it's one of my favourite Clint Eastwood performances. Wouldn't get away of it nowadays. Um, no, yeah, worth no. watching no. a montage of that character on for sure. Yeah. Really good. Mm. Awesome stuff, Jack Dan. Glad you enjoy it, my friends. What about yourself, Carlos? Oh, I love the movie. It's one it's one of the Eastwood movies I did watch in uh, the pictures when that came out. Um yeah, I mean some of the one liners in, in, in that yeah. uh, unbelievable. I mean like Dan says you won't get get away with uh, some of that today. Um yeah. I mean it's not meant to be funny, but it just is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great movie. Awesome. Well, it's 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 the same that you know you're saying you won't get away with it today, but like when you look at the things that he said in fucking Gran Torino. Oh yeah, that, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that as well. Even even yeah. more so, yeah. Yeah. Do you think with with Gran Torino because it's actually Clint Eastwood, and because who he is, he can kind of get away with yeah. it. Yeah. If, if that mm, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's part if of the character. Been... And he has an organ. He changes by the end. Yeah. 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 That was kind of like a street orientated movie. Let's just say it's kind of like an urban sort of uh, sort of hip hop gangster movie, and a lot of that got kind of thrown in. Maybe stuff like that might get taken out, but because it's Clint Eastwood, mm. I mean, some of those racial slurs. Bye, Carlos. Some of those racial slurs really <laughs> slow you. Yeah. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos is really reflect, reflecting on a downer on oil bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those racial slurs. <laughs> slurs. Simply Carlos. <laughs> yeah, great movie. Yeah. Awesome stuff, Carlos. Glad you enjoy it, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? It's been a while since I've seen it, but I, yeah, I remember kind of liking it. I think it's got. Mario Van Peebles in it as well. From yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah, it's been a while since I've seen it. Mario Van Pebbles. Yeah. <laughs> Fred Flintstone and Pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> Our bastard! I've just stood on it. Pebbles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Great answer, Andy, my friend. Have we got Mike QRS um, one retro here? Hello, mate. Great to see you in. Good evening, sir. Says Hi, hello Mike. all. I'm out at the moment of my nut on um anxiety meds and I'm um, currently seeing green dragons and purple cap caterpillars. Wow. Oh, you're lucky go and give some. That sounds like a great fucking Friday night to me. Yeah. Green dragons and purple caterpillars sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> great to see you in, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Gary Brewway addict here. Hello, mate. Hey, Gary, mate. Everything's Hello, great. Gary. No, bud. It's great lineup. Looking forward to this one as always. Hello, Thank Gary. you so much, mate. Really do appreciate that. Appreciate that, mate. Got Gary saying how about Sergeant? Um, see that soggle out my face before I shove it so far. You ask, you have to set fire on your nose to light it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Sergeant. I don't think I've heard that one, actually. <laughs> no. Have you seen that before, Jeff? I think that's a quote from. Heartbreak Ridge, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. I haven't seen that film in ages, to be fair. So I yeah. didn't recognise it. Cool line, though, to be fair. Definitely. Got Mike saying, films you think deserve sequels? I'll go first with Dread from 2012. Great choice. If it didn't have a crappy marketing campaign, it could have done so much better than it did. Yeah, it's a shame it didn't do very well because that would have made for an awesome <laughs> sequel, definitely. Great film. Um, it would have been great in the eighties or late nine, early nineties to have seen a sequel to Tango and Cash. I think that would have been really, really fun right. and entertaining. Right. That would have been absolutely awesome. What about yourself, Jeff? Um, yeah, we discussed this uh, myself, Dan, and uh, Carlos when we did our tribute to Carl Weathers. But Action Jackson with uh, Carl Weathers oh. that should have gotten a sequel. It's, that's a yeah. terrific action yeah. movie. Because... Awesome stuff, Jeff. Great choice there, my friend. What about you, yourself, Dan? I'm going to have to make this my last one because I've got work in the morning. Oh, no, uh, oh, no worries, Dan. All good. But for me, it's going to be the Guy Ritchie film, Rock and Roller. 
Uh, I love that film. It doesn't get a, enough respect. Um, but at the end of it, it's left with a quote saying that next time you're going to see the real rock and roller. And I thought it's such a good film and he's never gone back to it. He's done The Gentleman since. And I think he should have done another rock and roller personally. Yep, that's a fair show. I need to watch that film actually. But yeah, I do, do want to watch that definitely. Awesome stuff, Dan. Great choice there, my friend. I'm going to be off now. So I'll see you all Monday. No, no problem, Dan. Thanks for coming by. It's okay, Dan. Dan. See you Monday, mate. See you, mate. See you, mate. And then there was six. Six. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Hey, what did I do? End up over in this fucking spot. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was that. We got the sexy six. No, the sexy six. <laughs> yeah, it's like that, wasn't it? If I if I remember correctly, yeah. What about yourself, Keith? <laughs> hey, uh, oh, me. He's made him even higher. Look. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the fuck did I get in this spot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> It's the worst part because everyone fucking answers everything by the time it fucking gets you. <laughs> <laughs> Especially this fucking planter down here. Yeah, I like this one, and I like that one, and I like that. Name your favorite spots in the movie, and then he names 20. <laughs> hey, God. <laughs> um, but you know, it's funny, I... This might not make much sense, a sequel, but um, I mentioned it in my Aliens video. Uh, I would love to see a sequel to Alien. Uh, only for that, a kind of a sequel prequel uh, yeah. based, on, based on Hadley Hope to see what happened oh. to the colonists. I, I'd, I'd love to. Apparently, there's an audio book, apparently, you can get out there for it. Um, oh. But um, I would love to see a movie of Hadley Hope and just to see. See that side, just see what happened to Noosh and well we know what happened to Noosh, but what happened to the mm. our family, you know, everyone else in the place. I think yeah, it would be a very intriguing yeah. and yeah. intriguing movie to watch. Yeah, definitely. Awesome stuff, Keith. Great choice there, my friend. Yes, no worries. <clears throat> what about yourself, Nigel? Because of the way it ended, I'd be intrigued to see a uh, true lies two, or I would have been at the nice. time. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <sighs> Awesome stuff, Nigel. Great choice there, my friend. Thank you, sir. No worries, mate. What about yourself, Carlos? Yeah. He's <laughs> froze. Oh. I'm gonna say for oh, you. Um, I would have loved to. I, I, I would have loved to have seen a sequel to the Burning. I really would. Um, nice. The Burning. Yeah. Also, also Cobra. Uh, I thought. Oh yeah. yeah that, that could yes, have been really, good really choice. Cool if Stallone, if Stallone had that one. Um, I'm not going to say true lies because of Nigel just said it, but I always like Red Heat. I thought Belushi and Arnie had a quite a good. Uh, I thought I thought they worked well together. Maybe the movie it didn't earn as much as they thought it was going to, but I thought it, it could have, you know, could have had a series of movies. So I'm going to say those movies and Action Jackson for me. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that would have been good, definitely. Awesome stuff, Carlos. Great choices there, my friend. Bought by yourself, Andy. There's a there's a few for me. Um, Last Action Hero. I would have loved to have seen a sequel to that. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Night of the Creeps. Yeah, I love I that. Absolutely love that film. Didn't get a second one. Love seeing um, Tom Atkins come back. Yeah. Um, Demolition Man. I think I would have <laughs> yeah. yeah. Love to have seen a second one of that because I I fucking love that film. Oh, it's so good. Uh, yeah, probably just those. Awesome stuff, Andy. Great choices there, my friend. I've heard Probably people not... say they would like to see gold to that, but I like that as it is. Yeah. Well, I was going to bring up to you, I was going to say to you, what, what <coughs> movie would you like to see a sequel to that was set up for one? And funny, when you took that one out, that's why I was like, hmm, that was massively mm. set up for, uh, yeah. uh, for one. So, yeah, I, I would like to see that now. Not now. But I would like yeah, to have seen it Yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. I could definitely mm. understand that. Got Wednesday here. Hello, mate. Great to see you. Hey, hey, thanks, hey, hey, Wednesday. Yeah. 
Have we got Danny Dukes in hey. as well? Hey, Hello, Danny. my friends. Oh, Danny. Great Hello, Danny. Wednesday says, saw May Poppins at Cineworld this morning. What's a childhood classic you'd have to be visit on a big screen? Oh, that's a great question. Um, hmm. Possibly a uh, really Wonka, actually. That would probably be a really good experience at a cinema. That, really I think that would be a <laughs> I think that'd be a great one, definitely. <laughs> what about yourself, Jeff? Um, childhood classic, I would probably say one of the original six uh, Rocky movies. Oh. Um, especially maybe like Rocky Four or, or the third one. Um, because they're yeah, obviously the most entertaining ones in the series for me. Um, for talking some of my favorite movies of all time, I've been lucky to watch to have watched Scarface, my favorite movie on the, on the big screen last year for the anniversary. Uh, oh dear. And some great films have an anniversary this year, like The Terminator. So I hope maybe it'll get re released on the big screen. So I'll get to see that one. But uh, childhood classic, I would say one of the Rocky films, or maybe even one of the Bond films. But I did get to see Doctor No, the first one on the big screen. Uh, Two years ago, was it? Yeah, I think so. Nice. So I'm on my way. I still have to see the other ones on the big screen one day, but yeah, I'm getting there. Awesome stuff, Jeff. Great answer there, my friend. What Thank about you, yourself, Keith? No worries. Yeah, look, I, I don't, I don't mean to sound boring, uh, but uh, but I have a specific way to watch Halloween as well. I want to see Halloween on the big screen, but I mm. want to watch it in a drive-through. Oh, in, yeah, in the month of October. Something. Drive through Halloween on the big screen in the month of October. That's 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 my bucket list thing to do that I would love to have when it comes to the Halloween. Mm -hmm. I, I, Halloween three. I'd even take Halloween three season of the witch as well. Same mm -hmm. scenario. Yeah. I just love yeah. I'd love that. Awesome stuff, Keith. Great choices there, Cheers, my man. friend. Thank no you. worries. What about yourself, Nigel? One that I did see on the big screen and would like to revisit on the big screen, a childhood one, would probably be Disney's original uh, Peach Dragon. Oh, nice. Yeah. One that I would like to see on the big screen but didn't see, uh, Watership Down. Mm. Mm. I would have said Jaws, but I've seen it that many times at the cinema now, but I would like to see Jaws. Where you know, with you, you sit them fucking rubber rings in the pond and the screens there. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. I, would, I would like to do that because I would yeah. shit my pants. That'd be something, definitely. Yeah. Because I'd be in the right place for it. I'd get my ass all washed. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't work his ass up these other shit. I beg to differ there. <laughs> <laughs> awesome stuff, Nigel. Great choices there, my friend. Thank you, sir. Uh, no worries. What about yourself, Carlos? I didn't really see that many movies as a kid in the cinema, but one of my childhood favourites watching on TV was always Goldfinger. I would have loved to have seen mm. that one on the big screen. Fucking oh, James was, Bond again. Because that is my favourite <laughs> Bond movie, that one. Sorry to say. That has the anniversary as well this year, Goldfinger. I think it's 60th. Mm, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I scratched my ass into the sequel called Brownfinger. Oh, oh. <laughs> I knew you were to say that. Awesome stuff, Carlos. Brownfinger! <laughs> He's the man, the man with a smelly strum. Are you fucking. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, if that fucking finger went anywhere near your fucking hole, I'll tell you one thing, it ain't coming fucking back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like that. <laughs> exactly. Where's the other one? Oh, my hat's all bitches off. <laughs> it is old. You, you won't be doing another bass cover. <laughs> 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 What about yourself, Andy? Probably one of the, one of the comedies I grew up with, like Mrs. Doubtfire or The Wedding Singer. Oh, I like to see it so nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that that wedding thing, the end and uh, that ending of the wedding singer. Oh my god! Yeah, I yeah. I, I can't think of a better, a more feel good scene yeah. than the end of that. Great film. Great <laughs> choices there, Andy, my friend. Have we got Dal Boy here? Hello, mate. Great to see you here. 
Hi, Hello, mate. Yeah, and thanks Hello, for all guys. Thanks for entertaining us all and chatters. Hit that like and subscribe. Thank you so much, mate. Really do appreciate sure, that. Cheers, Dale. Thank you very oh, much. Jordan Hampton here. Hello, mate. Great to see you. Hey, Don. Hello, Hello, Jordan. Hello, Hello, Jordan. 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 Hello, J
I think it might be the Jaws one or that one. It wasn't the Steve Harris one. And um, he put the fucker on and I was like, oh, what are you putting this on for? He went, just watch it. <laughs> I was like, fuck me, that was mint. I loved it. I, was, I would like the 3D Blu-ray of that now. But I've only seen it once. But yeah, necromantic. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're selling. You're selling your. Uh, you said you're thinking about selling some of your uh, Friday the Thirteen vinyls. I'll do a swap with you. I <laughs> <talk at all. laughs> I'll swap you them for Smile. <laughs> awesome stuff, Nigel. Great answer, my friend. What about yourself, Carlos? Actually, I haven't seen any of those movies. Uh, not even, the, not even wow. the Judge Dredd one. Um, no. Even though I am a, even though I am a Stallone fan, I didn't quite like the uh, Judge uh, Stallone portrayal of uh, Judge Dredd. I Hello. Know. A bit disappointing for me. Okay. Yeah. That's fair enough. Awesome stuff, Carl. That's a great answer, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? I haven't seen the necromantic films, nor do I have any interest. Damn it. Um, we're busy. Um, <laughs> Dread, Dread, I really enjoyed, but like you guys. Just picking Motley out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Press the wrong thing. I've... <laughs> 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 That's Nige after he's watched Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like like you guys, I do have a soft spot for the Stallone one. Mm. I'm, I'm a strong, I'm a very, very strong believer that if you watch a film based on an IP that you have no nostalgia or connection yeah. to, I think you'll enjoy the film more. And that's what I have. Yeah, I've never read any of the comics. So, no. never read any of the yeah. Dread comics yet. I find the Stallone film very entertaining. Yeah. I, apparently, I think everything that you could possibly hate about the Dread comics, they managed to accomplish in that Stallone movie. Yeah. I think they're. The removing of the mat, the helmet is a massive no no that doesn't happen yeah, in the comics yeah. and all that, yeah, you know. Yeah. So. yeah. Awesome stuff, Randy. Great answer, my friend. And we've got Cy Robson here. Hello, mate. It's great hey, to see you here. And we've got Corey from Wilkie's Movies and Music. Hello, hey, mate. Man, great thanks. to see you here, my hey, friend. Yeah. Are you? Got so Bob says saying I've just watched with all good Friday this evening. It's such a great film. Oh, love that mm. film. So so good. Bob Boskins, what an amazing actor he was. His performance in that is absolutely insane. What about yourself, Jeff? I haven't seen that one. This actually came up when uh, myself, Dan and Carlos and uh there in the in the bottom there <laughs> when Andy joined Andy. us for the uh for the gangster movies uh stream. Uh, we discussed the British uh, gangster movies, and I haven't seen all too many of them. And there's a sadly one that I still haven't seen yet. So, awesome. no worries, yeah. Jeff. I hope you enjoy it, my friend. What about <clears throat> yourself, Keith? No, I, you know, I'm I'm just fucking looking. I'm I'm embarrassed to say that I actually own that um that limited box set from Arrow Video for the Long God and Mona Lisa uh, smiles. If that's what it's called, isn't it? Mm. Uh, but I've never watched both of them yet. I haven't gotten around to it. No worries, Keith. I hope you enjoy yeah. when you get round to it, my friend. Yeah. No worries. What about oh my yourself, God, I even, you're thinking, I even have got the fucking steel book for him. I'm just looking at it and tearing it off twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> right, about yourself, Carlos? Yeah, I, I actually uh, purchased the, the steel book a couple of weeks back. Uh, I enjoyed the movie, uh, The Long Good Friday. It is a British gangster classic, but I actually prefer Mona Lisa, which is part of that set that Keith Scott. I think that one's a little bit underrated. Uh, that one with Michael Caine. So yeah, I think, yeah, Long Good Long Good Friday is, is is a good one, but I, I do prefer Mona Lisa just a smidge for me. I'm just I'm just looking at that. I'm just looking at the box set there. There's not there's not three movies at that. I think there's two. You got the yellow, yellow and orangey set. Yeah, I just I'm just looking at the box. It looks like it looks like there's there could be three movies inside the box. I just I I can only see the Long Good Friday and Mona Lisa. Is there another one? Was there another movie part of that series? I don't know. I know there's two movies for sure. Hmm. Oh, here, let I'm me get up off your lazy ass and I'll check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that that collector set's worth quite a bit, Keith. Right. So it's it's actually there's actually four in it. Um. Oh, wow. It's, it's, I think you can actually see it there. Uh, yeah. There's more in it. Um, all right. So, 
it's uh, basically uh, the movie bonus movie bonus that's what it is ah. yeah uh, ah okay yeah that's a beautiful I set Oh, it is a really good set, definitely. I, I, I really enjoy it. The, the thing that stuck out to me about it was probably the soundtrack. The music, and mm. it's fucking unbelievable. Mm. Yeah. Um, particularly in that last closing scene. But, yeah, I thought it was a really good film. It's, br it's brutal in parts, particularly, again, in the scene towards the end. Pierce Brosnan's in it, and he's, he's got no lines at all, but it's a very <laughs> yeah. wow, good role from him in it. And yeah. yeah, it's it's just a really good gangster movie. Mona Lisa's pretty good as well. Yeah, like, I, I do like him as the villain. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. To be fair, awesome stuff, Randy. Great choice. For, um, answer, my friend. Got that boy saying, "Are there any movie characters you identify with?" <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Yes, Michael Myers. <laughs> 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 um, I'm not too sure. It's a hard question. Possibly first views day off just because I fucking hated school when I was a kid. So yeah, I'll go. Down. <laughs> 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 um, I might not necessarily identify in, in a way I'm sort of similar to him, but I relate and identify a lot with obviously Rocky's. Rocky's my favorite movie character because he's so you know good natured all the time and, and humble and whatever. And even though he has his trials and tribulations, he you know the message of the films is keep fighting, keep going through it and stuff. And obviously, it's a big metaphor for life. So yeah, Rocky is very uh, identifiable, relatable for me. Yeah. Awesome stuff, Jeff. Great answer there, my friends. We got that laugh. <laughs> and uh, great answer as well, Keith, with Michael Myers. <laughs> no, I fucking wasn't fucking serious. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Just going to finish great answer. <laughs> fucking Michael Myers, followed by fucking Frederick Kruger. <laughs> What's your um, answer, Keith? <laughs> fucking Frederick Kruger, he's making a, an appearance again, is he? Yeah, <laughs> he's back. <laughs> Oh, fucking keys are digging right in me clit. Good shit, noise. Huh? Good shit, noise. He did, the dirty cunt. What the oh, fuck is going on, man? Get your shit together. I think he just wants to look at my face. He done it again. <laughs> Please turn the lights out. Fuck me. There we go. Fucking hell. It's oh, yeah. in fucking stereo. There we go. There's two of me there now. He's multiplying. Wow. <laughs> Fuck's sake. It's got to go again now, right? It will. It will. It'll go again. What about yourself, Keith? I, I, you know, I don't identify with anyone to be honest. Yeah, I don't. I, I can't think of one movie where I went, "Oh, he's just like <laughs> me." And I, I, no, I can't. Nothing comes to mind for me. That's fair enough. No worries, Keith. All good. What about yourself, Nigel? Oh, I don't really know. <laughs> um, <laughs> not so much a character, I suppose. I don't even like the cunt either, but Robin Williams. Oh, 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 yeah. Make everybody laugh then, but you don't know what goes on sort of mm, behind yeah. it all type of thing. Okay. Yeah. Are you trying are you trying to tell us that you're suicidal? <laughs> um I wouldn't do anything. I, I'm gonna fucking but I often wish I was no I'm longer gonna, here. I'm gonna fucking contact Laura when this fucking stream's over. <laughs> I do. I do often wonder when, uh, like, uh, I just wish I wasn't here. I don't want to be here. But death terrifies me. I'm not brave enough to do it. People say it's for cowards, well, but it's fucking not. No. It's it's brave. I think that was very yeah. deep. Dark. It is, deep. Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> Can I show you my asshole and cheer everybody up? Fucking no. We'll just blame. We'll just blame Del boy. Thanks, Del. Fucking. <laughs> 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 fucking bullshit. 
Turn well and cool. I wish I'd never fucking said out now. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome stuff, Nigel. What about yourself, Carlos? Uh, definitely Rocky Balboa for past sporting goals and achievements. Yeah, Rocky Balboa for me. Nice. Awesome stuff, Carlos. Great choice there, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? Can um, Gary from Last American Virgin. I would knew. I was gonna say it in a joke about the dog. Last American Virgin, and then fuck me goes and says it. Wow. <laughs> fucking hell. That's fucking. Yeah. There you go. That's fucking deep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 awesome. Great. Fucking hell. Jimmy and Andy just you fuck know, off now know. while the going's good. I know. I know. I'm, I'm not. I'm just. I'm literally fucking bombed out now. Thanks. Cheers, <laughs> Delboy. Yeah. Yeah, just, um, the I, I think we'll end the I think we'll end the fucking screen now Don't well, say that where we are <laughs> 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 Fucking hell We've got Minor Jewel here Hello mate, great to see you here so, Hey guys, I've got the best shoes on Frankie, mate. Who'd you add? Who'd you add? Who'd you add? Who'd you And we've also got um, Minard Jewel while watching Godzilla. Godzilla kisses Kong. So can't wait. Awesome stuff, mate. Really hope you enjoy it. Yeah, but I might I might watch that one. I, I, I was going to go and see it with my mate, but I don't, he hasn't got in touch, so I don't know if we'll watch it or not. But I'm not overly bothered about that to be honest i'll probably just wait for it to come out on physical to be fair you going to see it jeff i haven't seen any of the recent godzilla films myself so not really my uh not really my jam as they say <laughs> <laughs> no worries jeff that's fair enough totally get that what about yourself keith that that, that movie just had the me i i swear to god i i don't know how can anyone can watch the trailer to that movie and get enjoyment from it it looks as fucking daft as daft gets. Mm. Just if you, if, if you have a chance to just check out the first trailer to come out for it and look at the last 10 seconds of the trailer where it shows Godzilla and Kong running together. It looks like something mm. from a fucking old Batman and Robin episode, like back in the, you know, <laughs> it, it looks absolutely ridiculous. It's the CGI looks, looks fucking terrible through the entire trailer. Mm. And uh, it's, it's I'm fucking I'm sick to death of God's I'm gonna see minus one when it comes out and then I'm fucking done with it. Yeah, that's fair enough. Totally get that, yeah. Keith. Yeah. And we know Nigel's opinion already, so we'll just move on to Carlos. <laughs> I, I I gotta pass on that. I think any movie that's got heavy, heavy <laughs> CGI for me. For me, it's just like watching. It. I, I get no enjoyment out of watching it. It's just like watching a PS4 game. So no, not for me. No, also, no. now you are. It's because you are past the age of six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I actually did. I mean, the last one, I actually gave it. I gave it a, an attempt, but no, I just. But he found Rainbow and Play School far more entertaining. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So. My my Godzilla copy is going straight to Nigel. First class <laughs> Yeah, the bit is a bit empty this week. Could do a fill-in. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of like it's kind of like Marvel to me now. I think I I kind of liked the first yeah. few when it, when they got the first Godzilla versus Kong. Um, it kind of wrapped up there quite nicely for me, and I I didn't need to see anything else. Uh, yeah. So I, it's yeah, I'm just no interest. Oh, there you go, Pete. When, when Carlos sends me Godzilla, how about Godzilla and Smile for Necromantic One and Two? <laughs> oh, brilliant! I've, I've already, I've already actually got two copies of fucking Smile in this room. Well, you can have a third. You're a collector. Four by it's a great Saturday. film. Tempting. Come on, you know me. I'll watch anything. <laughs> no, you never. I'm probably going to say it's Sunday night. <laughs> That's fair enough. Awesome stuff, Andy. I hope you enjoy it, my friend. Got side bobs just saying, Andy, my sad phone's play on loop. <laughs> <laughs> never remember a name. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Wave. P from the Baby Care podcast. Hi, hey, 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 hey,
How's it going? He says, uh, evening, everyone. I'm looking forward to WrestleMania of <laughs> movie streams. Thank you, mate. Really oh, let us know when it's on. <laughs> <laughs> Got that boy saying, have you ever seen a movie that made you think deeply about life or think differently about a specific subject at all? That, that's a great question. That is. A question. Bell, Bell, is, Bell is literally trying to finish me off tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. These questions, these questions the, about the end of the competition, the most depressing question of the night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've won, you win a copy of Godzilla. <laughs> and smile. <laughs> and smile. And, smile. <laughs> <laughs> and necromantic one and two. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I... mm. I'll, I'll come back to that one, but that, that is a fucking great question, though. What about yourself, Jeff? Yeah, I got nothing <laughs> on this one. Um, no, I can't think no of worries, anything right Jeff, now. All good. No. no worries. What about yourself, Keith? Yeah, I, I think I've kind of answered this question before, so I'm not going to go into it. But yeah, the whale. Uh, oh, right. with yes. Brenda Fraser. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think I've said it before. So yeah, you can't help but you know that movie having the lasting kind of impact on you after watching it. It does get you thinking. Yeah, definitely. Great answer, Keith. Great choice. What about mm. yourself, Nigel? Yeah, I've got two. Um, United 93 and Hacksaw Ridge. Oh, yeah. They both really fucking got me. When I was especially, I, well, not especially, but the most recent one being Hacksaw Ridge. When you were watching some of the scenes of that, yeah, I just found myself thinking, Jesus Christ, I can't imagine myself being in there. I can't imagine going through that fucking hell. No. It must have been absolutely horrendous. Um, and it stuck with me. Yeah. And it's kind of similar with United 93, the final scene when I saw that first. It was, oh, Jesus. Certainly it does make you step back and think you're fucking lucky. Yeah, it does, definitely. I totally agree with that. Awesome choices there, Nigel. Great answer, my friend. Thank you, sir. No worries. What about yourself, Carlos? What was the question again, uh, Scotty? What's um, a movie that made you think deeply about life or think differently about a subject, specific Ooh. subject? Um, I'm going to say the movie Awakenings. That kind of really made me think, you, you, know, know, you know, the person that Robert De Niro played. Yeah. If I had somebody, uh, a family friend <clears throat> or, or relation in, in that sort of condition, that really got me thinking, you know, how lucky we are. Um, yeah, it was a movie. It was a t very touching and moving, moving uh, movie as well. Yeah, Awakenings. Awesome stuff, Carlos. Great choice there, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? Probably one movie that made me think, fuck out, we're just doomed. Ian Lee. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. 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 That, that is fucking hell, yeah. <laughs> You know, we're you all know. going to be fucking end. We're all going to be ending it at the end of this stream. I tell you. <laughs> no, no. I watched that back, back, back to back with Irreversible. <laughs> <laughs> you do so strange. I've got a question for you all. Yeah. Out of all the special editions, what you've got, like your big sexy ones, which one would you swap for Necromantic One and Two? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I'm a a really <laughs> I think I'll tell, I'll tell you what. I'll swap you that for my midsummer. You can have that fucking shit movie. Oh, 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 oh. I fucking I'm, love that film. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I can't believe these words are going to come out of my mouth. You know what? You're all right. You can keep it. I'd rather stick with the redneck romantic. Oh, <laughs> you don't like it either. I think it's one of the biggest heaps of shit I have ever seen in my life. Wow. Oh, oh, it's yeah. very mixed I, reviews, mind. I hate it as well. To me, it's, it's just like a modern day Wicker Man. Yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah, yeah. It is. It's definitely quite similar, but it's just so I, bad. It's just the worst thing that I did about I did about that movie going into it, I watched the fucking extended version and I wish oh. I saw and I wish I saw the shorter version. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I watched. I fucking loved it. All six glorious days of it. 
it, it just another, another, sorry, another, right. another kind of movie just jumped at me there as well with that that, that um and again it just has this lasting impression on me it just it gets you thinking at the end of it uh, mm-hmm. every time i watch uh, stand by me oh when yeah. when, oh, yeah. when that's when, a good when one richard as well dreyfus, when richard dreyfus starts telling talking about everything that happened yeah to, you know you kind of sit down you're kind of looking at it and you're going you know I, I'm, I'm going to call so and so tomorrow because you just don't fucking know exactly you know it's 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 you know it's yeah, you can't help mm-hmm. it. it. It does. It just has this weird lasting impression on me. Every fucking it's beautiful. It really is beautiful, but yeah. it's, it's incredibly sad as well. Yeah, it I, is. I was, yeah. yeah, it's a good I one. Was, I was almost going to say my girl because that was I don't I don't I don't normally tear up in a movie, but that one for me got me mm. when the kid yeah died in that. yeah that absolutely. was really tough to watch. Absolutely. You know, with the kids getting killed and getting harmed i get really i don't like to see stuff like that but no it really got me i i said that funny enough carlos i i it's it, it's such a it's a very different kind of movie but um pets are... oh yeah 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 pets are... <laughs> Boy, pets are oh, he's, back. he's back. back yeah no i despite what that child does in that movie you shouldn't just think things you should not see on camera yeah and they've done it in that movie i can't even when i when i watch pet cemetery when it gets to that point i'm more than happy to knock it off and be done with it mm, yeah he is so young though in it isn't he mm. he's a toddler yeah how the hell are yeah. they going to do what he does yeah weird Child. yeah yes yeah, i think um anna klumsky the little girl in my girl a fucking performance in that is outstanding yeah, absolutely i agree got a um, minute you all saying this is going to be a magnificent stream thank you mate really appreciate it that. how fucking far behind are we <laughs> <laughs> a bit, but we're not too bad we've been worse to be fair we got my key from boogie cap productions here hello mate great to see Hi, you man. hello mate yeah we did a little bud hey mate Got Minard, you'll say, Nigel, we've done a magnificent job with his streams from now. He sure has, mate. He's done an amazing Quite job. Quite magnificent, yeah. Yes, indeed. <laughs> got Mark Norwood here. Hello, Hello bud. Mark, are you in? He's our guitarist. He sure is, definitely. We got um, Dale Boy saying, I've seen a few, quite a few biographical <clears throat> films over time. Elvis Ray. Johnson story, etc., etc. What is your mm. favourite biographical um biographical um Phil Ben <laughs> I said that completely wrong, but you know what I mean. No yeah, worries. <laughs> but um, mm, probably straight out of Compton. To be fair, that film was fucking great. I love that. So entertaining. Thought it was br- yeah, just brilliant. What about yourself? Yeah. Um. Yeah. There's a few. Um. I think my favorite of, of these biopics um, would probably be uh, the 2001 Ali film with Will Smith, uh, directed by Michael Mann. Uh, I'm not a big Will Smith fan, especially after the Oscars debacle from a few years ago. Um, yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> I, I can't stand him in real life. I think he's an arrogant prick in real life, but uh, <clears throat> I do love him in that movie. And I, I think that's his best performance that, he, that he's yeah. ever given. Uh, and he truly embodies, you know, Mom and Ali in that film. He comes so damn close to being the authentic, real thing. Even Ali himself really praised that film. Of course, he was still alive, you know, when that film was being made. Um, yeah, so Ali from uh, 2001. Probably awesome stuff, Jeff. Great choice there, my friend. What about yourself, Keith? Yeah, it uh, has to be Walk the Line for me. Oh, uh, yeah, and I'll tell you why I'm going to put Walk the Line because we went into that not being even a fan of Johnny Cash. We didn't particularly like his music. And as soon as we watched the movie, it, it turned us to his music. Uh, you know, it was just fuck. And what kills me with that movie as well is, I think uh, Reese Witherspoon is in that list of people that don't do- That don't freeze on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, it looks like he's having like a big pimple popped on his ass. Look, <laughs> <laughs> he's got oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
I was actually thinking when they squeeze that one. <laughs> Welcome uh, back. Oh, he's back. Welcome I'm back. back. Am I back? Am I good? Am I good? Yeah. Okay. Welcome yeah. back to the <laughs> live stream. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, yeah, walk walk the line for me. Um, uh, like I said, I was just saying, Reese Witherspoon. She's she's in that list now of, you know, people reckon she doesn't deserve the Oscar for that movie. I I absolutely do not agree with that at all. I thought she was fantastic in it. And uh, like I said, it kind of turned us to Johnny Cash's music. So, uh, love it. Awesome stuff, Keith. Great choice. Starring the great hair lipped whacking off. <laughs> <laughs> what about yourself, Nigel? Um, for an individual person, the one that springs to mind straight away for me was the uh, Tina Turner one. What's the, What's love got to do with it? No, wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, when I watched it, I, I didn't realise, um, this is my reasoning why, seems it was asked, I didn't realise how, like, what a fucking rough life she had with him. He was vile. Mm. Um, and the bit that's the hardest to watch is when they're recording Nutbush City Limits. It's, oh, it's, it's not an easy watch. It's fucking nasty. Mm. Lor Lawrence Fishburne in that is absolutely fantastic, as is... Mm. Angela Bassett. It's um, it's not an easy watch, but my God, what a brilliant film it is! Awesome stuff, Nigel. Great choice there, my friend. Thank you, sir. Well, no worries. What about yourself, Carlos? Uh, it's got to be Malcolm X. I'm not big on politics and religion, black power, and all that sort of stuff. But that was kind of a movie that I always held off when I watched it. I mean, Denzel Washington is absolutely phenomenal in that one um how we never won an oscar for that one i know he, he got one for glory supporting uh, actor and training day but i think malcolm x is probably one of his better performances for me i mean he looks like malcolm x and uh you know even in the documentaries uh he, he you know the way he just kind of you know his mannerisms is just spot on uh, so it's got to be Malcolm X. Great movie. It's, it's, awesome it's, amazing, it's amazing the way as well, like, you have these actors. Like, you just mentioned Denzel there, the two Oscars he won. He, he had, he, I found he had far better performances. from Like, for, for instance, Philadelphia. He could have oh, won it for that. You know, yeah. same with Leonardo DiCaprio as well. You know, he won his Oscar, but he won it for the wrong movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's the way I think it goes, the same could be said could be said for Al Pacino as well. Yeah. 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 I'd, I'd say for Scorsese as well. I don't think he won Best Director for his best movie. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, good. True. Yeah. True. That's good. It's like, it's just like the Academy Award panel. They seem, to, they, seem to, they seem to balls it up. I mean, it's like Paul Newman. A lot. Many, many top. Yeah. It's like for years, Paul Newman had been nominated for the Best actor, and they gave it for him in the movie The Color of Money. It's like yeah. it wasn't that great a movie. It's yeah. like it's old. Oh, it's like oh, just take the Oscar. You know, you've been lucky a few times. Just take the Oscar this year. Yeah, yeah, definitely agree there, one hundred percent. Great choice there, Carlos, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Chaplin, with Robert Downey Jr. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I love that film. The cast of that film is absolutely amazing. The movie, yeah, so the movie, the movie feels like a real life version of Forrest Gump. I think just the way that, oh, that wow. movie's paced, the way it tells its story. But like, yeah, like I said, the cast fucking amazing. Dan Aykroyd, John Thor, uh, James Woods, fucking yeah. unreal. Awesome stuff, Randy. Great choice, my friend. Now, if the question had been, what's your favourite film that's based on a true story and more like true to life to the real story, would have to be Jaws the Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Followed by Cannibal Holocaust. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
We got and Mike Mi- Sonny Flores says, what is it, Dad? He used to be, but I'd be disappointed. He doesn't want to see Fluffy Bunnies with all blown to pieces with granny <laughs> wild stuff in their faces with chocolate. <laughs> I didn't use it for Easter, but I did mention the film because that is my all-time favourite animated film, mate! Film! Uh, it's, it's a good film, Nigel. I think I've just jizzed. <laughs> <laughs> we July got the 5th. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Got um, Keith Saney with Associate Chitty Chitty Gum Bang as an Easter film, has it always on, and I can't stand it. Yeah, used to be in the seventies Christmas though. The the change mm-hmm. into Easter, mm-hmm. which is why yeah. I started to fucking dislike it because I hate Easter with a passion, which is French for passion. Got I say Donny Dark over from that or Easter Bunny. What? <laughs> yeah. What? That that sounds more fucked up than I even thought it was. And, Oh, there. We got, we got the if I need to ch- oh. <laughs> I wish it was a fucking chocolate egg. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah. don't know what it actually was. Yeah, definitely. We got Dad Boy Shady Watch for Road today. I would say a typical religious film shown at Easter. Have you a favourite religious film, Ten Commandments, sexual animated as allowed? I don't think I've really seen that many to be honest mm. just never really well my answer is no it. do i fuck uh. <laughs> awesome stuff you know you're great i said my friend i think i'm the same to be honest what about yourself jeff i don't think i've seen many or if any at all um very wise would ben her count i mean i think there's a bit of religion in that one uh, yeah i guess yeah I, that I don't one yeah, That's the only one I, I, that really springs to mind, really. So, yeah. Great choice, Jeff. What about yourself, Keith? Uh, the Omen. <laughs> yeah, in a, in a way, yeah, it yeah. is religion based. It is, yeah, it is. In a way, yeah. yeah, Keith's right, to be honest. Okay, oh, I've changed my mind and I'll have watched it down. It's an Easter film, and Easter's all about that Jesus, <laughs> that Lord Jesus. <laughs> Great answer, Nigel, and great answer, Keith. What sure, about yourself, Carlos? No worries. Storman, as they say in Yorkshire. Yeah. I, I, I Won't know, it I see know, Storman? I know a lot of the movies they used to show in the UK used to be like Ben-Hur, The Ten Commandments always used to be on. I never used to watch any of them because they're too bloody long. Um, yeah, they're long. I'm going to say I watched the porno day. version, Bang Hair. And the sequel to Bang Her, fucking dump her. <laughs> <laughs> and then all these years later, the remake, it's dump the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say end of days. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Good one. Yeah, oh. Yeah. Fuck me. Oh, oh God, I'm going to fuck it. I'm going on a date now. Ellen, okay, if you're watching. Quiet boy compared to me. A quiet yeah. boy. Yeah. 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 Ellen, Ellen, if you're watching, we're we'll watching the end of day tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great film to be fair. You said that I love end of days. Time. I can't remember. Oh. oh. I probably shit my pants to say just uh, I probably wouldn't dare watch it. However, something's telling me I might have seen it. You know, do you know something? Oh. Nice? It, it had one of the best posters. I remember the poster. I'd do yes. anything to own it because it was 1999. It came out, so you'd yeah. have 1999 in flames, and then the nines were changed to sixes. Six, six, six. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. No, it's so good. It's kind of like a horror horror religion movie, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Aspects yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. It is, yeah. yeah. I, I think it's fucking well, I mean, highly, say... highly underrated. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. it's, oh, I do. it's yeah. the most underrated Arnold film for me. Yeah. 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 I mean, they, they, they build it up as Arnie versus the devil, don't they? Yeah. yeah. So, in all fairness, in all, when that, I don't want to ruin it, but that the scene with the train, let's just say, I'm yeah. sure you've seen it. From there on, it's, it's like the movie's great. But when the train yeah. scene happens onwards, it's like, holy fuck, this yeah, thing yeah, is yeah. absolutely yeah. epic. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's so good. It's I think so Nige, entertaining. No, you, you would absolutely love it. I think you, you'd yeah. have a blast with it. 
It's and by the way, film. not it's just watching it, but, but Gabriel Byrne was the perfect bit of casting for the devil. devil. Fantastic, yeah. 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 Oh. He, looked, he, he, looked, he looked quite scary in it, I've got to be honest. He, yeah, he, very yeah. intimidating. Yeah. Great choice there, Carlos. That's a really good one to be fair. I totally forgot about that film. So we'll all watch it. an end of days on on Easter Sunday. Oh, I'll tell you. I'm watching it tomorrow or maybe after a stream. Yeah. I, I want to watch I'm, it again. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm fucking <laughs> me now. I'm swearing yeah. about Ellen, Ellen, tomorrow night, maybe on my six pints, end of days is going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably afterwards. I haven't watched it in hell. years. I really want to watch it again now. Yeah. I know. I fucking, mm. I'm actually pumped for it now. Thanks yeah. for that, Carlos. Yeah. See <laughs> we'll watch it all, to, all on Easter Sunday, and afterwards we're all going to hell. We'll do a watch party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all get fucking pissed and watch a fucking good film, mate. Is what we'll do. Fucking pissed. There's actually a real, there's a real beautiful moment at the end of that as well. Again, I can't say nothing, but there is a real yeah. beautiful. Amazing. And then you know what, Jeff? You know what, what I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, it's just a bit right, near right the end of it. It's just it's very fucking moving. It is, yeah. Or bite yourself, Andy. <laughs> um, yeah, for me, I probably have to go with um, Prince of Egypt. I just I love that film. Is it religious? I don't think yeah. I've seen that one. No, oh. it's um, it's an animated movie from 1998. It's um. Oh. It's got an amazing cast. Yeah. Um, Val Kilmer as Moses, uh, Ralph Fiennes as oh. Ramesses, oh. Je Jeff Goldblum, Sandra Bullock are in it. Um, Martin Short and Steve Martin are in it as well. It's uh, oh. if it, it is pretty much like Ten Commandments, the animated movie. Wow! Oh. But it's uh, it oh. can be quite for a, for an animated film. It's uh, it, it's quite rough at times with you if you know. What happens with Ramesses' son? Um, when you see it, the imagery used in it is just f fucking unreal. Um, I think Patrick Stewart is in it as well, but it's oh, wow. it's just it's visually it's an amazing film. Um, yeah, so I have to go with Prince of Egypt. Mm. Awesome stuff, Andy. Could, Great choice there, my friends. Can I just say one thing? As we're talking about religious movies, not that I'm a big fan of it. Any of you guys seen The Passion of Christ? Yeah, yeah. It's Mel Gibson, isn't it? Because I yeah. thought that was yeah. rough, man. That was an awful. That is rough. Yeah. Shit, you know, it, that it, was it, rough. It, it was one of the movies, Carlos. I watched it, and I was happy I watched it, and I don't think I need yeah. to see it again. Yeah, mm. exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm on the same. I'm on the same uh, boat there. It's one movie you just watch it, just push it to the side, and never watch it again because it's quite yeah. horrific. A bit Absolutely. Like, um, a bit like Schindler's List in a way. Brutal. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a tough watch. It's the it's this it's the scene with the way he's getting whipped with the cat of nine tails. That's, yeah, that's the bit that's absolutely rough because by the end of it, he's he's unrecognizable. He's just coated in blood. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Though, yeah. though I was saying at the time, though, I think Mel Gibson was criticised. Though I was saying that he went a bit over the top with it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it um, because like like he's like, like Andy said, he's literally unrecognizable. He's just. Mm. It's just his whole body is just just scarred, yeah. a pile of red mush. Yeah. yeah. And what did you say earlier, Scott? We're gonna we're gonna get what? It's fucking <laughs> pissed. Um, what you are? Good fucking film. <laughs> I would like to translate that for you, boys and girls. I think what he means is we're going to have a jolly good beverage, and we're going to watch a cinematograph. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what he's trying to say. I prefer fucking Scott's version. <laughs> In the Queen's English there. Nicely said, Nigel. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm glad somebody appreciates it. Not like this common muck up in that corner there. Oh, what? What? There you go. Anyone's going to believe Pat that Carlos shit. Carlos is a gentleman of distinction and appreciates know, culture. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you know what, you, you fucking sound like one of them fucking fucking students from that movie, Disturbing Behaviour. And, and I was like, this is not fucking nice. Yeah, fucking yeah. This, is, this is very unfair. Shut up, you morning cunt. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 there we go. That's more like Queen Arjun Wee. That's not... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Did you go to sleep last night? Did Dan go to sleep last night with a fucking pod beside him? <laughs> no, I had a pod at my ass, funnily enough. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> we got the we pool have... finger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, guys. We had a moment there when we was getting quite religious, but now it's just got totally thrown off and it's got yeah. X, X, X rated again. That's what I'm saying. How do we go from religion to talking about Nigel sticking fingers up his ass again? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Could it be a chocolate collection? Yeah. yeah. The tone's been just flipped over again. He's the blue eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Got Minos, magnificent driver, magnificent man. Have a magnificent time, guys. Thank you, oh, wow. what you well, Thank you very much. And uh, Mike is back again. Hello, mate. Great to see you, hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Have we got Dom seventy four oh. there saying I rewatch the um Cannibal Run films and uh, was thinking it'd be great to remake these. What actors would you have in what vehicles? Oh, oh my good. Oh, wow. I don't, he did not I don't ask that question. I've never seen those, to be honest. Oh, I yeah. think they're good as their fuck. I haven't even I've seen I've never seen them. I can't comment. It's not my yeah, point. Yeah, even the way they are. No need to remake them. No. I agree. I couldn't even think of who to cast, to be honest. Okay. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's impossible. Who, who yeah, it's yeah. no. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even, yeah. my head won't even go there. Yeah, I agree. That's like, that's, that's like saying, you know, let's make remake Smokey and the Bandit. Who would you like to see play the Bandit and who would you like to play Smokey? No mm -hmm. way. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, no. there's only two people playing them roles in my eyes and that's it. Could oh, make a great. porno version. The cock and balls run. <laughs> cock and balls. That's, that's oh, wow. just fucking... <laughs> Anyone got a tumbleweed? <laughs> 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 Carlos, um, do you agree or would you um, can you think anyone you cast in a remake for Cannibal Run? Do, do you know what? I mean, th those two Cannibal Run movies, you watched them because they had such a great cast of, of actors yeah. who mm. popped up, even for cameos. I mean, who would you get? Um, I yeah. suppose you'd probably get the. I suppose you get the likes of. I don't know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Ryan Gosling driving fast cars. I don't know. Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. throw him in there. The way it's got no, pronounced, what? I would probably go and get an Amazonian fucking tribe because I thought he was saying the cannibal run. The way he <laughs> <said>. <laughs> yeah. Cannibal run. Cannibal run. Cannibal holocaust. There's acting royalty in those movies. Like, there's mm. no one you can get today. Oh, I agree. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Do you agree, Andy? I mean, uh, yeah, I, I love those types of silly, goofy, racing yeah. cannibal. Films. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> cannonball run. Cannonball, cannonball run. Have you ever seen um, the Great Race as well with yeah. Tom Curtis and Jack? No, Lannan. I've heard of it. Like, oh my god, that is such a funny movie. So funny. Um, the ending is just the food fight at the end is just insane. It's yeah. just even um, it's a mad, mad, mad food mad fight world. is at the end of it. Is <laughs> <laughs> have, have you ever seen um, it's a mad, 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 mad world as well? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying that when you're fucking pissed. It's a bad yeah. man. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, I just I, I love the cast of that movie. It's just it's just insane, goofy, fun time. Um, that, that movie it's even got cameos from like Buster Keaton and the Three Stooges are in it. Yeah. It's, just, mm. it's like fucking everyone at the time. It was just, just yeah, just they're just fun movies. They're just fun, good Sunday afternoon films. Yeah, yeah. I agree, definitely. Oh, by, oh, by the way, the fuck, the fuck of music to start a cannibal run to. It's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to see the second one, but I love the first one. so good. I think the second also, one's miles better than the first. Oh, brilliant. Also, what, also what made those movies, because I, I remember sort of forwarding, uh, speeding up the movie just to watch the bloopers at the end, because the, the bloopers... Mm. Yeah. The end credits was 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 funny. I mean, you can tell all the actors who popped up in those two movies. 
they just turned up for fun. They just didn't take it serious. They were taking yeah. the, the mic, looking at the camera. It's it, it is what it was, wasn't it? Really, it was just yeah. uh, a sheer comedy. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, enjoyable movies they were. I agree. Yeah, definitely. Have we got um, Stephen Moles here? Hello, mate. Great to see you hey, as mate. always. Hey, oh, yeah. He says he can't stand fan footage movies. Yeah, but I'm sort of similar in a way. There's quite a few that I dislike. There's, I suppose there's a couple good ones, but I think I've seen more of the bad ones, to be honest. I <laughs> hate the Blair Witch films. Cannot stand them. Absolutely awful. Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, I, I hate them. I can't, I can't lie. Uh, what about yourself, Carlos? I mean, uh, what movie is it? Yeah, sorry. I, mean, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I still got my hair, unlike uh, <laughs> yeah. even though I'm losing it a little. Fucking right underneath me, aren't you? <laughs> oh, he's doing that. You're gonna poke your right up the blue shoot. <laughs> oh. His uh, fingers just went up Jeb Strongen. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, a finger! It's got his head. He's going to get a thing. He's going to get a thing. Oh, lovely. Oh, 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 look, he's oh. fucking everything. Oh. Is that with or without lubrication? <laughs> <laughs> going in dry. I just <laughs> live over oh. here. But it's, <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> <your> lube. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, uh, worry, don't worry, Jeff. You're going to get the special lube. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna look. It's gonna look it's like. There's gonna be Rook no easing it either. It's just gonna be right in there. It's, it's gonna. Look, it's gonna look like Rucker Howard's face in the hitcher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is going out after ten o'clock, so it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's after eleven air, so it's even better air. But uh, <laughs> um, I know anyway. Get back on topic. Um, <laughs> um, found footage movie. Yeah, some I like, um, some I don't like. Um, it, it's not my favorite genre, but you know, there's a fair few that I like. Um, obviously, you know, the first Campbell Holocaust is presented as a uh, fun footage film. I'm not not gonna say I enjoy it, but I appreciate that film if that makes sense. So, yeah, awesome stuff, Jeff. Great answer, my friends. What about yourself, Keith? I find that if they're done right, they can be very effective. Yeah. Um, Chronicle is one that stands oh, out in mind. That's a good one. I forgot about that. You know, that that's was fucking great. Uh, I thought Unfriended, both movies were fucking amazing. Uh, searching probably oh, searching, might be yeah. might be one of the best. I think you watched one last night, funny enough, found footage of a movie called The Gallows. And oh, yeah. I enjoyed that as well. I thought it was a fun movie. Nice. Awesome stuff, Keith. Great answer, my friend. No worries. What about yourself, Nigel? Um, I actually really do like the paranormal activity films. Um, oh, yeah. like, oh, yeah. in, yeah. like oh, yeah. you, Scott. I can't fucking stand Blair, which is shit. Yeah. Um, another great one, but it's so fucking disturbing. It's about as cheering as fucking Eden Lake is. Megan is missing. Uh, oh yeah. If you haven't seen that, watch it. But wow. I think someone told me as well. Awful. Someone told me as well that Lake Mongo, apparently that's poof. That's a rough that's one to watch. I've not seen it. Yeah. Yeah. I heard it's supposed to be great. Mm. Is that oh, found footage one? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's great. I loved it. I thought it was awesome. What about yourself, Carlos? I've got to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the found footage horror movies. They're not my sort of go-to types of uh, horror movies for me, personally. Yeah, that's fair. Mm. Awesome stuff, Carlos. Great answer, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? Well, it's hardly a fucking great answer now. Shit <laughs> <laughs> answer, Carlos. Shit well <laughs> Carlos. That's a shit answer there. Shit <laughs> <laughs> answer that there, I'm you not. give us. Fuck all, you give us. Fuck all. <laughs> I didn't mind. I'll be honest. I didn't mind the Blair Witch Project. I mean that ending. Oh, which he'd have fucking sucked with his original answer. Now I'm not yeah. a fan. Yeah, I mean, just that. That's the worst of the lot. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's not, terrible. I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say it's classic or anything like that, but yeah, that's an understatement. But, but what annoyed me, 
what annoyed me is straight after that you got a complete whole barrage of, of those types of yeah. uh, horror movies that mm, came yeah. out and yeah. no no that's just not my type of horror movies i'm afraid Oh, That's the other one I meant to mention as well is with, I like it with the animal cruelty out, um, Cannibal Holocaust, because with the yeah. animal cruelty out, it's fucking brutal. Yeah, fucking yeah. Jeff fucking said that, you deaf bastard. I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably fucking thinking of fannies then, so I don't know. <laughs> the correct response there would have been, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Well, yourself, oh, hey, I've got a cracking photo of Avril Lavigne to, to show you as well, a dirty girl. <laughs> I mean, I I do like the Blair Witch. I've got to be honest, I do find that ending quite creepy. Um, I like it when yeah. they're done right. Stuff like Ghost Watch is absolutely oh, incredible. Brilliant. Oh, fuck um, yes. I forgot about that. I love I that went one. See, I went to see one the other night, which I absolutely loved. Um, late night with the devil. Oh, oh well, we yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was uh, to be that movie was creepy as fuck. You didn't fucking so. tell me it was found footage. I was getting excited for that. No, it's <laughs> no trust. Trust me, it's 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 like Ghost Watch found footage. It's like a TV studio type of thing. Oh. It's not. Oh. Like, it's not like um, Blair Witch. Somebody stood in the or... corner having a wank while she blows snot all over the lens. <laughs> no, there's there's <laughs> n- none of that. Good. Um, correct me if I'm wrong as well. Wasn't that movie a decent found footage movie? And the the Chernobyl Diaries. Not seen it. I haven't seen that one. No, I think that might be an okay one as well. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't mind watching that actually. Mm. I've heard decent things about that one. To be fair, got Stephen Moore saying that uh, Easter Bunny Massacre is a good Easter horror movie. What the fuck? <laughs> is he taking the piss? Or is that is real? He it I think he's know. making it up. He's got to be. Yeah. If that's real, I want to watch it. <laughs> if it's look. not, you've got some of there. Go and get it pitched to people. Yeah, I'll have a quick look on that box later, just to double check. Easter <laughs> Bunny Massacre. Oh, I hope it is. Oh, oh, God, like, kill it with a fucking chainsaw bunny face. <laughs> I can't believe that's a movie title. Nah, I think it probably is. I hope it is. Like, that'd be awesome. It is. Okay. It oh, is. wow. Oh, wow. it's real. This is the poster. Oh, <laughs> holy <laughs> fucking shit! That is nightmare inducing. Yeah. That is, that is great. Yeah, I want to watch that. <laughs> we got James from Scottish Geek Guy here. Hey, Hello, man. James. Hey, great, Hi, great to see you here, mate. Hello. Good evening, sir. Got Mike saying, Terminator Genesis was the worst trailer I've ever seen. It gave me the biggest oh, yeah, that was a terrible of the whole one. film. Like, you didn't yeah. even need to see it. What a guff. <laughs> <laughs> what what a guff How the fucking hell are you mate? He says, Hey guys, hope you're all well. Well, fantastic line up tonight. Thank you, mate. Really appreciate that. Thank you, and he says, just come oh. up of late night with the devil and it's fantastic. He's really one of the most creative and best all films in the years. This I'm very much this generation ghost watch. That sounds fucking oh, great. You Have you two been messaging each other before you come on, you Andy? You won't please. You've said the same <laughs> fucking thing there. I was I was surprised when I, I, there's at the at the beginning of the movie there's narration that takes place. Uh, I was buzzing when I when I could hear I could recognise his voice. I won't tell you who it is, but when this right. narration happened, I was like, oh yeah, because he he's an actor I love. But when you when you hear him narrate it, I was like, "Yeah, that's him," and I, I was just buzzing that he was doing it. Louis Spence. No. <laughs> Louis Spence. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what can I can imagine. You're about to watch the true story. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and stretch your legs. <laughs> he makes Alan Carr look like fucking Rambo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. And, that, and that takes some fucking doing. Big Julian Clary, you look like fucking fall. <laughs> oh. And uh, <laughs> I do actually really like Julian Clare. I think he's very funny. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Pete. By the way, definitely going to check that film out for sure. Yeah. 
got Matt Chat saying anyone <laughs> a fan of Bud Spencer and Ter Terence Hill films? <laughs> I'd love to see them get some UK releases. I uh, believe his 88 films would be perfect. Yeah. German Prowl, a lot of them, but most are not in English. I don't even know who they are, to be honest. Jeff, do you have any idea? I'm a fan of Budweiser. Oh, yeah, yeah, I am as well. Or the old Spencer Terrence. <laughs> nice. Um, I'm not the... <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of uh, the Bud Spencer Terrence Hill comedies because they're like the slapstick, uh, Italian slapstick sort of comedies. They did the uh, the Trinity films, spaghetti westerns, like, you know, very slapstick spaghetti westerns. They sort of killed that that genre. And I love the spaghetti western genre, as uh, Carlos will know. Um, you know, I love the the gritty, straightforward spaghetti western. But when they came around and, and they came with the Trinity films, it sort of ruined the genre, it sort of died out uh, at, that, at that point. Even though they were successful, the movies, but it killed, you know, the, the straightforward revenge films and gritty films and stuff. So I'm not the biggest Bud Spencer, Terrence Hill fan. Uh, I like it when they did a few spaghetti westerns before the Trinities, when they did uh, more straightforward uh, films like uh, Only God Forgives or, or God Forgives. I don't want so many weird titles for spaghetti westerns. I think that's the one, isn't it, Carlos? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I like that from Ace High is another one they did, a spaghetti western from Eli Wallach. I like that one. Um, Boot Hill is another one, but yeah, not a fan of the Trinity films or their um, cop films that they did afterwards, like the you know police uh, slapstick comedy film. Not, not the biggest fan. That's fair enough. Awesome stuff, Jeff. Great answer, my friend. Cheers, Carl. No worries. What about yourself, Keith? I'm I'm gonna make a fucking fool of myself here now because I don't know if these are the, the two people that I'm thinking of. Um, they're not the lads that done the, like the likes of. Uh, he who finds a friend finds a treasure, and yeah, double trouble. That's, um, that's, that's them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them two movies in particular, Double Trouble and uh, He Who Finds a Friend Finds. A I thought they were fucking phenomenal. I thought I actually they're the only two movies I own by them in my collection. Oh, uh, we used to love watching them in the eighties. The fight sequences are so funny. Yeah, there's, it's the, there's one I think in Who Finds a Friend Finds a Treasure. <laughs> there's a bit where the fella has an eye patch on. And he just grabs the eye patch and he scratches it out and he puts a coconut <laughs> and then he yeah. just lets go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did, I did like, I, I loved that the, both of them movies. And I think one of them then went on to do a movie called Is it Super Snooper or something like that? Yeah, with um, um, Ernest oh, Borgnine. Yeah, was well, really? Yeah, yeah, I really yeah. enjoyed that as well. Yeah, did have a, the theme song for that. They want to somebody needs to give that fella a permanent fucking tumbleweed because he's on form tonight. Jealousy oozes. Didn't they sing smelling me, smelling you as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking that's that's yeah. nice just cover. Smelling me, smelling you, aha. If you change your mind. Take a bar of soap to me. <laughs> and I, because you're smelling me and I'm smelling you. Oh. <laughs> right up there. I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> no. I don't know what you're going to say, but I don't want to know. Don't up the wrong one. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Awesome stuff. Keith, great answer, my friends. Sure. What about yourself, Carlos? Yeah, I mean, they were popular comedy movies in the 70s. I, I didn't quite like their spaghetti western ones, but the cop ones, that ones uh, that Keith mentioned, they did quite a few of those comedy adventure movies. And yeah, the same as we liked the Carry On movies in the UK is what the Italians and the Europeans liked. Terence Hill and Bud Spencer movies in the 70s and 80s. That's how popular they were. Ah. And they they were released on VHS back in the day. Um, and yeah, they, they are silly slapstick movies. And there's always a punch up in every five or 10 mm. minutes. And uh, yeah, they're, they're worth watching. And uh, a lot of those movies you can purchase from Germany in, in several sets. In sort the of Netherlands like, as well. They're, they're very popular yeah. in this country. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Movie, <laughs> in like movie yeah. packs. 
So yeah, yeah eighty-eight films would probably be the ideal label <clears throat> to release those sort of movies. But they they were a lot of fun. I don't know why. I don't know if, if, if you are all the same as me, but every time Jeff says that he's about living in the Netherlands, I, I just get fooled by it. I'm like, really? <laughs> you live in the Netherlands? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah, I think his English is even better than I think his English is better than most of us here. Yeah. Boy, that's for fucking sure. First time I met him, I actually thought he was an American. <laughs> that's what I thought. Well. Oh, that's a great compliment. Right. Thank you. <laughs> I did. I thought I thought he was American. I, I, I did it best. And I think sound British, but I don't want to offend you guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the fact he says he, he like pronounces his R's very prominent, like Americans do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, well, the first time, to- well, the first time I heard Scotty's uh, accent, I thought Scotty was a, a London gangster. Could be, especially when you, especially especially Scotty when. You let off some steam and you just absolutely kick off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It takes up very. It takes up very. Stupid cunt! He's one of my favorites. Yeah, I love yeah. that one. Yeah. He's it, 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 it takes something very special to trigger off, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I, mean I, I actually think Scott is more convincing than Danny Dyer. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Connor. So I appreciate that. That actually means a lot. That actually. Got Dyer and Danny the movie critic. Watch him. Watch him move into Danny Dyer and have a go. Fuck you, looking at me. I'll fuck you up. <laughs> Fucking hell. Sorry, mate. He'll fuck off. <laughs> I'll be running the Queen oh, oh, fucking take you on. <laughs> He'll do that oh, as well, and we won't leave that bit out. No, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got a little bit of a dance as well. <laughs> oh, I do, I do. But yeah, but right. great answer, Carl. I saw some stuff, mate. <coughs> what about yourself, Andy? Lost on me, unfortunately. I'm sorry to say. Wow, wow, I'm no yeah. Wow, yeah, I've never heard of him, like. And we've got Pete asking, what's your guy's Easter egg for choice? Link for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is Easter, so it is related, to be fair. <laughs> but more importantly, Pete, what's your favourite flavour of Lemsip or Beecham's powders? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a blast from the past, isn't it, Nigel? It's been a while since I've got one of them questions. <laughs> yeah, thanks, folk. <laughs> yeah, true. He likes a chocolate egg with his tin of sprouts. Have a race, does Pete? Yeah, <laughs> that's a blast from the past as well. <laughs> While watching He's the funny. Alien Factory. He thought that was funny. Was. The Alien Factory. When it's the Alien Factor. <laughs> He's still but, like, um, I'm not a straight person. I have to think. I'm not, yeah, well, I'm not sure why. I do like Easter eggs a lot, actually, but I'm not too sure what my favourite one is. Fuck it, I'll just say all of them, they're all nice. <laughs> That's my answer. Greedy bastard. <laughs> Indeed. Great answer, Jeff. What about yourself, Keith? Everyone's going to make the weirdest faces here when I say this. Um, the green room. And the reason why I'm saying the green room is because every Easter... Uh, Ellen always buys me a movie because I don't like is- Easter eggs. So she bought me the green room. <laughs> oh, nice. I see. And then yeah. I, I buy Ellen a pile of Easter eggs. Nice. Liking it. Awesome stuff, Keith. Great answer, my friend. Sure, is it? But no worries. What about yourself, Nigel? I think if I had to pick one, I'd say after eight. Hmm. Yeah, good one. Definitely. Awesome I do stuff, like nice. minty chocolate, which is French for chocolate. <laughs> Did you minty swallow chocolate. a fucking French fucking dictionary tonight before I going am. on? Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. Le Belen. <laughs> Le Belen. Le <laughs> Français <laughs> Belen. <laughs> I can speak Latin as well, you know. I've ordered this in Latin. Oh, wow. 
Bloodus <laughs> Valentinus. <laughs> oh I'm happy to put the subtitles on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Great answer, Nigel. Really enjoyed that, my friend. Thank you, sir. No worries. What about yourself, Carlos? I forgot what the question is. <laughs> <laughs> Favourite Easter egg? Um one back in the day i know they had the old cadbury's cream egg but they used to have a mint one back in the day in the green green oh, wow. uh, wrapper do you remember them ones Nige? yeah it was like a cream egg but it had like the white minty fondant in that's it I used what to were that. they they went after eight though were they no they weren't maybe, maybe for long <laughs> maybe it's the little version before nines <laughs> wow! But yeah, they, they, it was it was the minty ones I used to like. They don't do them now, so it has to be those little, it has to be those little mini eggs. I've got a fucking pile of tumbleweeds here, you cunt. Do you want to borrow one? The only reason why I brought that up. Me and Ellen, me and Ellen were in Tesco one night, and she's she's seen a ton of fucking after eggs. And the, they're already cost a fortune. And I says, here, we'll go to fucking Niddles and we'll get the before nines. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Look it out>. hell. <laughs> All this stuff, Carlos, great answer by friends. What about yourself, Frank? I don't even know what he fucking said now. No, I can't, but still great answer anyway. <laughs> oh, I can't remember, but it was a great answer. <laughs> He's on fucking farm as well, isn't he? Have we all been on drugs? Yes, we're on drugs tonight, Nigel. <laughs> um, I'm an, no, I'm an absolute, uh, I'm an absolute fiend for white chocolate. So I have to say, Terry's chocolate orange, but the white one. Yeah, uh, Andy, I'll tell you one thing, Andy. Andy, that's fucking shocking, racist, racist. <laughs> no. Not even not. fucking Jess, don't start that shit there. We need to tolerate any of that fucking shit on this fucking stream. We'll get fucking hung, drawn, and quartered. <laughs> fucking hell, Keith, I didn't know you were part of the Wug Brigade. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking just in case goal. anybody's ready, just fuck off your walk. Don't bother. Yeah. <laughs> Those self righteous cuds who don't even know they're fucking born, I've got no time for them. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they can all fucking suck our cocks. He's <laughs> 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 never said that was like that, you oh, could yeah. oh, 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 vaginas. Oh, not to, <laughs> not to <discriminate>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> He, he oh, 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 you, you killed him off. <laughs> <laughs> He's falling off the screen. I did not see that one fucking coming, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was a shock. All suck our great, great big dirty corned beef pogo sticks. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, but oh, that's fucking getting recorded. That one is. That'll wow. be in a future video of mine. You're welcome, Nigel. <laughs> oh wow, that was amazing. That's comment oh. of the night. That. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Yeah. Brilliant. It's not <laughs> fucking often anybody shocks me, but that got me. <laughs> Whoa. We've got Sip, not funny. Hello, mate. Thank you. Oh, for doing hello, mate. <laughs> got Darren Hartley here as well. Hello. Great hey, Darren. Here, How are you, mate? Hi there, Darren. How are you, bud? He says, wow. Hello, as it was a fresh um, intermediate um, from the rest of the series. Series. <laughs> I agree, definitely. I, I and the rest I of the McDonald say, buildings. I, 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 can't, I can't say words for choice anymore. Just it's oh, what film did we watch? No, Poultry Which Guys, one? wasn't it? It was Poultry Guys when they. Hey, said God, yeah. With hey, hey. Poultry Guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he did. 
Paul yeah. Poltergeist. Yeah, <laughs> same, the same, um, the same people who made your little man in the, with the green bust there behind you. Throw me. Oh, is that what's really called? Poultry yeah. Geist, yeah, it's fucking brutal as well. It's so what funny and gory. Chickens? It, it, yeah, kind of, yeah. Really? It's right. funny, though. I thought, oh, we're not watching this shit, and I fucking loved it. It is funny as fuck. It is so messed up. It and I'll, I'll let Scott pronounce this one. We also watched. I was a woman on the moon. I was <laughs> 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 Indeed. <laughs> I have to always have to say it like that. It's just boring if you say it normally. I can't do it. <laughs> it's got to be I was a woman on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a boring like that. I moon. I think <laughs> yeah. when he says that, he, 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 he's pitching his voice higher and higher to the moon. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a moon. <laughs> Down, Sim, but it's only Scott. Is that the fucking whistle? Got men I do say, what are some of your favourite sequels? Oh, that's a good one. Rocky Three for sure is up there. Fucking love that film, it's great. Um, um, <laughs> mine's gone Come on, see. Oh, and Andy's going to say Exodus Two. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, no, can't get enough. I'm also good. Andy, you probably agree with this one, but I'm going to go with American Pie 2 as well. That sequel yeah. is great. I love it. It's fantastic comedy. Scott. Um, Scott. Yeah. Dawn, of the, Dawn of the Dead. And yes, Dawn of the Dead as well. <laughs> no, I've been fucking reminded. <laughs> I do, yeah. I don't know why, but I fucking love that film. It's great, obviously. Cheers, Keith. Cheers. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> There's, I mean, there's so many, to be fair. We yeah, could go on for hours and hours. But what are some of your favourites, Jeff? Yeah, there's too many. Um, Halloween 2, Halloween 3. <laughs> uh, not really much beyond that in that series. Um, even though I do still sort of like Halloween 4. But um, any of the Rocky sequels for me. I'm, I'm a huge, huge Rocky fan, as everybody knows. Um, Terminator 2, my all-time <laughs> favourite sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, Terminator 2 will be my favorite. Aliens. Terminator 2. Fucking come on, Jeff, let's go. He does well, I have to fucking look up. Terminator 2. Brilliant. Yeah, there's, there's too many. Those are some. Some of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. Awesome stuff, Jeff. Great choices, my friend. Thank you, Scott. Talk about yourself, Keith. No worries. Yeah, no, it's just, just, look, there's just too many. I'm just even looking in front of me. And they are right. Back to the Future. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Mission Impossible. Terminator. Planet of the Apes. Doctor Sleep. Phenomenal sequel. Uh, Star Trek I have in front of me here as well. I just they could look the list is endless. Godfather it is Indiana Jones. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's just yeah. so many. Awesome stuff, Keith. Great choices, my friend. What about yourself, Nigel? Um, Jaws Revenge. Halloween three. <laughs> <laughs> Jaws two. Uh Fright Night Two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, a great show. Yeah. Friday the thirteenth, part two and six. Mm. Oh yeah. And um, there's another one which, oh, I think it's better than the original, Pet Cemetery 2. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Awesome stuff, Nigel. Great choices, my friend. What about yourself, Carlos? Uh, what well, good sequels, better than the originals, are we saying? Or just, no, just some of your favourite sequels. sequels yeah. um, Terminator 2, Rambo 2, um, oh, yeah, Death Wish 2. Yeah. Yeah, Death Wish oh, yeah. 2, because oh, Charlie yeah. Bronson... Death Wish 3 as well. Shit, yes, yeah. that's one of mine as well. Death Wish 3 as well, yeah. Charlie Bronson yeah. really turns into a more evil fucker. Uh, that's <laughs> Scott's line. How, what's he you like in that one, Scott? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah, those ones for sure. Awesome stuff, Carlos. Great choices, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? Um, Wayne's World 2. Uh, oh, good one. Austin mm. Powers, Five Shag Me. 
I fucking hate that movie. So do I. <laughs> and I've never seen them. I've seen clips. I'm the same. 56 million clips of the wow. yeah, baby. Fuck off, my Groovy. <laughs> you just named two fucking franchises based on one of the biggest wanker actors out there. <laughs> Wind world and fucking yeah, I hate him. Mm. I got to say, I wasn't a fan. Yeah, um, not the biggest fan. Prefer Michael yeah, Myers. I'll, I'll say, um, Father of <laughs> the Bride, Father of the Bride, too. Yeah, oh, give one, yeah. Um, Adam's Family Values is one of my favorite comfort movies ever. I just love that film. Uh, god, yeah, what else? Um, just the usual uh, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, good one. Top Gun Maverick. Oh, brilliant. Um, yeah, it's probably those. Awesome stuff, Randy. Great choices there, my friend. Go through three more comments here for about wrapping stream up soon, but it's been another fantastic night tonight. Really enjoyed it. Got Jim from Jim's Movie Channel here. Hello, mate. Great hey, to see you there. Hey, 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 stimulating conversation as always. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that bad if you're still watching results. In, we got our one freeze here. Hello, mate. Great to see you here. Yeah, I think Hello, so. fantastic Cheers. panel. How are you all doing? Good, thank you. I'm on the proper dog tonight. Sent um, All Star Brewery with Britney's on the end is epic. Huh? No, <laughs> no, the Britney's on the end of your what? <laughs> Filthy beast. Oh, really? We're real well caught. Best treat. Was great. It ended early and it was moving Thursday night next week. Obviously, can't do that, but that means I can come here for, from the beginning. Awesome stuff, mate. Okay. Hope you okay. enjoy it. Excellent. And Mike says, Would anyone love loved another collaboration between Stallone and Russell after we exit yeah. Cheese Fest with yes. Bando Cash? Yes. Absolutely. 100% that would be yeah. awesome. Yeah. We, we kind, of, kind of got one in Guardians too. A little bit. Yeah. Very true, yeah. That's, that, I don't mind that film actually. I think that's quite decent. The second Guardians <coughs> Galaxy. I like all three of them, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. Got Sip Not Fan saying, Question part one Do you guys think we ended a Mad Max 2 is one of the best endings ever? I love when the camera zooms out with the um, adult film kids' um, narration. As for me, I grew, um, grew to manhood. Question part two. In the fullness of time, I became a leader, the chief of Great Northern Tribe, and the Road Warrior. Um, that was the last we ever saw of him. He lives now only in my memories. Um, it wasn't the last we've seen him. He fucking appeared in Thunderdome. It's true, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, well, I do like um, Mad Max too. It's been years since, I first, since I've seen it, and um, only seen it once, so definitely need to watch it again. But I thought it was excellent and it does have a good ending for what i remember what about yourself jeff uh yeah i love the road warrior um definitely my favorite of the uh of the free mel gibson uh, mad max yeah. films i um, mean it's so great um uh, yeah it's a, it's a great ending i uh i, I agree with that it's, it's a fantastic i wouldn't say i wouldn't say it's the best movie ending ever but it's it's a great one for sure yeah, yeah. i love mad Ma i love uh yeah Road Warrior. <laughs> Fucking thing in the bloody title. Yeah. Love it. Awesome stuff, Jeff. Really glad you enjoy it, my friend. What about yourself, Keith? Yeah, I'm kind of a bit like Jeff there as well. Like, yeah, the ending's great. Um, I wouldn't class it the best thing. And then kind of like I mentioned there as well, it's kind of like, it's almost because Th Thunderdome came out after then, it almost kind of, it's irrelevant what they say at the end of the second one. And all mm -hmm. that, you know. So it's, um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good ending. It's a great ending. No question about it. I still think Halloween 3 is the greatest ending I've ever seen. Goosebumps every time I watch it. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Maybe awesome. Invasion of the Body Snatchers in there as well. Mm. Awesome stuff, Keith. Great answer, my friend. Cheers, man. Thank you. No worries. What about yourself, Nigel? Yeah, it's, it's a really good ending, but I wouldn't say it's one of the greatest ever. Mm. Um, yeah. However, fucking Hellfest, no, that's an ending. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh, it is yeah. great ending. Yeah. Definitely. Awesome stuff, Nigel. Great answer, my friend. Thank you. What about yourself, Carlos? No worries. Uh, yeah, it's a good ending. It is my favourite Mad Max movie out of the uh, 
out of the series. I won't say franchise. Um, you just series. fucking no dead. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it, it's yeah, it, it's a good ending. Um, I, I mean, they got the new Mad Max movie, uh, which I don't know if I'm gonna. I am planning on revisiting the movies, but uh, yeah, it's it's a decent ending, mm. but it's not not a great great ending for me personally. Um, I mean, what no, uh, Nigel said about Hellfest, that was a really good ending. I did enjoy <laughs> that. Um, Nigel, did that kind of reminded me. An episode out of Dexter with John Lithgow. Uh, did that? Did that sort of give you that sort of feeling? That ending. Oh, like a fan um, of which episode? John Lithgow, he like the final of it, you mean? The final episode of that yeah, series? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no. I mean, John John Lithgow was a serial killer. He, he was kind of a family man, wasn't he? And, yeah. Uh, that kind he of reminded me. Yeah. yeah. But it hadn't occurred to me, but now you mentioned it, yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that maybe they kind of might have used that because it caught me off guard uh, watching Hellfest. Mm. Uh, I love the ending. I did, I, I'll be honest, I did love the ending. It just reminded me of the Dexter with uh, the Trinity killer. Mm. For me. Strangely enough, that's what uh, Laura's watching at the minute. She's watching, she's going through Dexter again. Oh, well, not right now. She's now getting fucking pissed. But as a rule, she started watching Dexter. I love Dexter. One of my favorite series. series. Yes, yeah, same. Yeah. Definitely got to watch yeah. that at some point for sure. Yeah, Wilson. it's not as brutal, but I fucking love Rosalie and Isles even more. Mm. Not Rosalie and Isles like a uh, holiday resort. It's Rosalie yeah. and Isles. Yeah. Oh, we're going for two weeks away on the Rizzoli and Isles. <laughs> <laughs> awesome stuff, Carlos. Great <coughs> answer, my friends. What about yourself, Andy? See, when I watch it, the, the ending, for me, it, it's just not that memorable. I just remember the rest of the movie. Yeah. yeah. All the stuff with Vernon Wells. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. I enjoy it. It, the second movie is my favourite. But, yeah, I just I don't really remember the ending that much. Yeah. No, I don't, to be honest. Go on, admit, I totally forgot about that until he said you see the Zoom. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. the Zoom's good, but I don't remember that dialogue after it, so it's, yeah. like Andy yeah. said, it's not really greatly memorable. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I mean, I, I, always, I always remember it, Mad Max 2 as the one because of the villains. Yeah. Mm. That's, what, that's what it did it for me, and the action was pretty good. Uh, yeah. And we'll make this the um, final question for tonight's live stream. Simple not fancy and question favourite um William Forsyth movie. Mine is Raised in Arizona. He plays John Goodman's escaped convict buddy. He's also also incredible with Sheriff um Wydell in the Devil's Rejects. Um probably Raised in Arizona, it's the only one that really springs to mind. Great film, really, really enjoy that one, thought it was mm. hilarious. What about yourself, Jeff? Um, yeah, I do like William Forsyth. He's a pretty underrated sort of character actor. I always like it when he pops up in a movie. Um, most memorable for me and the one I probably love the most is uh, in my favorite Steven Seagal movie, uh, Out for Justice, where he plays the villain. Um, and the same year, he also played a great villain in the great action movie Stone Cold, which is another highly recommended one. But yeah, those two films, uh, is one of my favorites, uh, some of my favorite roles. And also, he's great in uh, Once Upon a Time in America. Yeah. as well uh even though he doesn't get to shine as much as some of the other casts but he is um, he's a memorable part in for sure um so yeah love willing force i out for justice would probably be the one i, I always jump to the first as uh, the villain in a, in a seagal movie awesome stuff jeff great choice my friends what about yourself Keith? i i know the name but i can't place him i can't place him. i honestly cannot play it what what, what yeah. kind of movies in the end does he also oh. play the stepfather of Michael Myers in the Rob Zombie? That's him. That's, That's him. him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. He normally plays the villain most of yeah. his uh, characters. Usually who's, he he, who's seen Rob Zombie's Halloween? Stepdad. You know the the stepfather who's been abusive to Sherry Thingy and the <laughs> and the kid when the baby right. cries and starts going, "What? Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. The red He's eyeing up yeah. the ass. It's him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cheers, like, yeah. Then wow. No, I wouldn't have a clue. I wouldn't have a clue. No, he's Keith, mm -hmm. all good. 
What about yourself, Norman? I think now I've found out who he is, I'm going to have to say The Devil's Rejects. He's fucking phenomenal in that. I love that film. Mm. Awesome you, stuff, spot, Nigel. You, you would spot him, Keith. He's kind of got like a lazy eye, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, He's I'd got a big bulbous good. nose. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd say Once Upon a Time in America, even though his, his role wasn't that big in it. Um, but yeah, but he always plays the villain normally. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, what about yourself, Carlos? What's your favourite film of his? Once Upon a Time in uh, America. Awesome stuff, Carlos. Yeah. Great choice, my friend. What about yourself, Andy? Yeah, I have to say, um, Out for Justice as well. <laughs> but was the um in that there was like a uh, Liam Neeson film a couple of years ago that he was in as well. Um, um it was. I think it was, I know which one. Yeah. It was that one where there was just like a load of snow in the movie. The Grey. Ice Road or Cold Pursuit? No, it's not the Cold Pursuit. Cold Pursuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in Cold Pursuit, yeah. Well. yeah. yeah. Cold, yeah. Cold yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't realise he'd been in so much stuff. The Rock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The Rock. Oh, The Rock. Oh, so, so I forgot about The Rock. Yeah. 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 Can't Who was he was one of the remember. villains, surely. They did a porno remake, and that was well called The Cock. Dear Carlos, pass this fucking arm, will you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're giving me the fucker back, and I passed over to you. Who <laughs> 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 oh, the fuck is he in The Rock thing? Because I know The Rock well, but I just, he's, I just can't place it. I can't remember if he was in that. I, I think he's one of the henchmen. Uh... Probably yeah, was an now. early role for him. I, I, he's he's always comes up as a villain. He's got he's got just got one of them phases faces, especially with that lazy eye. Oh, he's in them um, career opportunities as well. Oh, it's a decent mm. film. Yeah, mm. I like that one. I think he's isn't he like the the caretaker of the store or something? And he's like, you've got to have this the the mall locked up by this hour or something. I think that's him. This is him in the rock. He's rocking a uh, awesome porn tash. Right that's, there. that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. He, he is in it. Oh wow. I need yeah. to see that film again. To be fair, got to see it not yeah. say time for cock. Oh. <laughs> 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 and that's what people in the end of tonight's live stream have more thank you so end much on that. for joining us <laughs> on that bombshell. Best. <laughs> the best, uh, dream of the two epic Easter night streams and of course thank all you guys for joining me tonight really do appreciate it as always thank you all so much guys thank you Scott, Cheers, Scott. thank you very much for having us Cheers. can't wait no, for no, part two on Monday oh, yeah, can't wait till Monday it's going to be awesome Gary, Pleasure. another cracking stream guys look forward to part two on Monday enjoy your weekend you deserve Absolutely. it thank you so much Cheers, Gary. Man. have a great weekend all the best, you know. thanks and just to make sure if everybody knows that part two is actually on Dan's channel not this one yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so That's don't come on here on Monday going no. where the fuck am I yeah. no yeah. It, it is definitely on Dan's channel that is for sure same time 7.30 as well definitely yeah. you hear that Andy Andy 7.30 7.30 <laughs> 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 yeah, <7 30. laughs> it's Andy everyone in the description box down below give all these guys a sub because they are brilliant channels Cheers, Cheers, Scott. Scott. Cheers, Thank you very Scott. much indeed. What was that you were going to say, Carlos? A minute ago. Uh, I was going to get a bit rude and say, Andy, better get. Uh, you better do what he's got to do before seven thirty. Going to get a bit rude. That was very polite. <laughs> that was polite. Well, you know. You got our He says, "Bye, everyone. Thanks and all. Very best Monday." You say, "Yes, Monday." Cheers, dance. Dance. Yes, Monday. Monday not here. Over at dance. Dance yeah. that we gave. <laughs> 7.30. Yeah. 7.30. Yes, 7.30 yeah. as punctual Andy has just pointed out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, I'm and punctual I'm nerd. I'm cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and you will show up at half seven now on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I might yeah, just be yeah, popping yeah, at five yeah, to nine. Yeah, good point here. Yeah. Cocks change as well. Oh, don't fucking oh, remind me. Oh, yeah. Don't mess oh, me yeah, about. Yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah. Don't that mess is. me about. What's that, Scotty? <laughs> oh, I might have a nice box of before nines before I come on on Monday. 
The clocks are changing this weekend. It's um, Dance Dance Movie Cave. Oh, my friend, that's his channel name. Dance Movie Cave. Have, you have, it, uh, yeah, links are in the description. You'll see Dan's link in the description. Yeah, yeah. links are in the description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Down there. <laughs> down, yeah, down there, yeah. Right on, right on. Oh, not down there. You don't want to be down there, but down <laughs> there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get, you'll get a nice surprise if you go down there. And we all know what happens at the end of a live stream. <laughs> yes, me and Scott make cunts about while well, everybody sits and fucking watches. I will join. Oh, geez, you're going to join us with it with a Liam Gallagher shite. Yeah, you're going to say it. Well, you're excellent. With a Northern accent. <laughs> He's fucked off, oh, that bastard's fucked off. <laughs> Here we go, lads. Yep, see you Monday, Mike. Oh, see you Monday. Right. See you Monday. Bye, everyone. And All the best. Yep, three, two, one. Sure. Yeah. Yeah.